Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, off top, you stop breathing. Well, well real quick. Vomek might not even be able, to be able to be in UK again. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, imagine, imagine our surprise that we hear that Vomek got arrested for carrying heat with them. You know, wow. and it was, it was it was like some seriously. It wasn't like you no know, you know some bullshit ass pistol. That motherfucker was carrying yeah, he had, he had real gun heat. Yeah, gun size low bow wow or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> guns are Navarone. Shoot them like Al Capone. Guns are Navarone. <laughs> Guns are now burn, 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 burn. <laughs> <laughs> Like what's that? What's that? Be, uh, Bounty Killer Mob Deep song. Um, danger. I think it's Danger Zone or Deadly Zone. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I don't know what Bo Mac was thinking. Well, I mean, there's so many questions. Like, first of all, how was he get? How because he got go back. Bo Mac was able to get into the UK with the gun. But you know, in which which in itself, someone was fucking slipping. Either that, or someone got you know you know paid under the table to let that shit in because he should. I mean, Bomac should have been should have been thrown out of the UK just for bringing what he brought in. So you let him have it, but then Bomac, ah, it, it's just too much of a fishy situation, bro. Right, and then Bomac himself, you know, because Bomac I guess took a regular ass flight home and wasn't thinking like, bro, like what is he doing, like. You like you because he because he he because he came in differently and he's and he left it and that's when they got him for the gun and like yo that's fucking crazy because I'm thinking to myself that like, yo because UK having a gun like that that's like you know that's jail time that's serious jail time or whatever the fuck so it's just like I mean is he even still over there he must still be in the jail yeah I'm, yeah he got to because I think the 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 trial don't start or the hearing don't start till like October seventh or some shit. Yo, so the, so my man's gonna be in jail. He's gonna be eating peas on fries and fucking beans on toast oh, and God. and and actual faggots. I mean, you shit. Know, not the slurs, yeah, but yeah. you know, <laughs> the British have British have a disgusting meat called faggots. If you ever see, if you, if you ever, if you just put, type it in, British faggots. You know, you either get the cigarettes or you get like this liver situation. Is, is that the one that's with an H? What's that? There's like some some shit in the UK called haggish, H A G I S. Nah, nigga, that's not that's not no, that's haggish not. and faggots are two different things. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, haggis is 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 like stomach. It's like sheep stomach yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, British cuisine looks trash. No offense to all UK listeners, but I'm just saying. UK no, 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 say that shit. No, British cuisine it, is it, disgusting. It looks like trash. I can only imagine jail food in Britain. Niggas eat like they're still in the <laughs> niggas eat like they're still in the Crusades, nigga. Like king, like yes, dude. The only ones who really good who eat good are the people who eat like the ethnic foods and shit, like. Yeah, you think because so, shout outs to prolific because he he know what's talking about. Like, we were talking the other day, like they have all these nan because we were talking about nan bread and I, I showed him a picture. Yeah, nan bread Indian is awesome. Food. Yeah, he was saying like they be having like nan shops like over there, like yeah. and it's just <laughs> he, he be like, damn. So y'all just sell nan like y'all gonna go out of business like these motherfuckers just pop up and they just sell out like motherfuckers be in the nan got cheese nan garlic nan beef nan chicken nan this that like the so like if you ain't on that wave mm -hmm. you yeah you eating crusade food <laughs> 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 i ain't gonna lie that's a new shit yo. i ain't gonna lie so, this nigga say the food look like it's from the crusades like god damn i'm thinking about what prince john and robin the hood and shit King Richard and all them niggas. King, yeah, King there. Richard. Yeah, you, you, think about it, you come back from the Crusades, a nigga, you sit at your table, a motherfucker just throw a plate at you, and that shit just look like that. Like, yeah, I'm saying, like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, British cuisine, like, honestly, yo, they conquered half of the world, but they couldn't, you know, they couldn't do, they couldn't conquer the recipes, my niggas. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, British, like, British cuisine is, is gross. Like, it's absolutely gross. Like. Like you know, I, I know for these two, because I know I've seen uh, like on the collie too, and also I have cousins that live in the UK. You know, they be talking about, oh no, you guys eat like sweets and stuff like that. You guys eat like you know syrup and waffles. And, you guys, you guys are you know, English breakfast is not that much better, bro. You it's not. You guys are obese and all that shit. Yeah. English breakfast, like man, nigga. Yeah, English oh breakfast. Don't, don't let me do no cartoon on no English food. Oh my god, yeah, like yo, in, I'm about to do y'all just. Ah. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like you know, in, you know, England. No one should be constipated because that shit would look like it, you eat that shit and you gotta poop immediately afterwards, nigga. Like, you know, that shit is 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one that's of y'all be so angry. If I'm if I gotta eat beans and eggs for breakfast, I'll be pissed off too. Like that's why that's why you can't understand the motherfuckers. They trying to hold that shit in. They're like, we, that's why you be talking all funny and shit, nigga. Like, <laughs> well, I'll be ready to stab up things too, man. <laughs> I mean, try to stab up things, them. <laughs> Hold on, let me hit up some of these comments, man. It's like these niggas is commenting. The comments are commenting. Um, not comment on uh, uh, the chat. Uh, let me see. Mm-hmm. What up, Miss Bitch? Uh, this person's back. Um, yeah, that's me with the headphones on, nigga. Boxing better than football. How many times do I gotta tell y'all? Uh, hey, what up, hey, De- hey, Deontay not Jones? Anything, my nigga. I'm gonna need you to calm hey. down with that. <laughs> Peace and love to y'all. Hope y'all are good. Yo, I just had to rewatch y'all Mace versus Silk video because that video is classic. Y'all for real, great listen from y'all. It's a go-to. Uh well, we appreciate it, especially me, because it was my idea to match those two polarizing yeah. albums. Niggas said I was crazy, but you know. And niggas still crazy. thought that he was crazy. Like hey, he's niggas, But know. it made a classic. Look, look. Like I said, just like I said with the Biggie versus Yuck Mouth shit. If I could get one nigga to, to to fucking say, damn, I never gave this album a chance, and I listened to it because of y'all's show, and this shit was fire, one nigga does that, then it's a, then, the, then the episode was a success. Yeah. And several niggas did that. A lot of niggas is feeling that Yuck Mouth album. And it was more competitive than a lot of polls that be on Twitter and in the Kali. Because I remember that fucking De La Hoya... Uh, 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 Sugar Ray Leonard poll niggas had and made no one picked De La Hoya in that fucking mythical matchup. So hell no. Nah. <laughs> At least you had like a, a seven or eleven votes for Yuck Mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that shit at least got over ten votes, nigga. Like ain't no, ain't no one picking De La Hoya against Leonard, nigga. So you know, exactly. We 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 trying out here. Shutterworth got the dollar store headphones. God damn, nigga. Buy. Well, you you know what? That's a perfect opportunity to donate. To Ring Gang Radio, so Shutterworth will get some great headphones. Yeah, exactly. You know, you want. Yeah, you know, if you if you if you gonna come out on this brother's headphones, you know, you hit up hit up our paper. You see that scrolling yeah. banner? You know what I'm saying? Like it's there. Yeah, y'all see y'all can donate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And y'all, y'all don't want y'all don't want to see Shutterworth in, in, in Dollar Tree headphones. Dollar. Shit, is it Dollar Tour store anymore? Like, nigga, you say Dollar General at least because they got five dollars shit in there. Like, yeah, no, Do- Dollar Tree, it's a dollar twenty five now, nigga. That inflation, yeah. nigga, shit's ridiculous, nigga. I go in there for, I, I, I want to go in there for like gum and shit, and I'm paying a dollar twenty five. I, I, I feel like I, I get, I'm getting ripped off, my nigga. Like, ridiculous. It's, it's like, I don't, know. I don't like that feeling, like, but um. Let me see. Yeah, I got I got bringing quarters now. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, word. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bomac not important. It's Shutterworth Town. Yeah, but now nah, Bomac important. But like, he's not important where you oh, need him for the no. fight. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, the cops. People want to talk about the cops hooker shit, but this guy has me inheriting a champ. You know, he's helped with Keyshawn, you know what I'm saying? Obviously Crawford and this. I mean, he's a quality coach. He's good. Like, yeah, yeah just because he's a big dude. Don't he, mean, look, know. it's not going to affect Crawford as much as the rematch is concerned. But as far as the other fighters, yeah, it's a big dent. Like, all the young fighters, like, my heart go out to them because, you know, someone like Bo Mack just disappearing from your life. Mm-hmm. And you're, like, used to seeing this nigga and getting his guidance and teaching. So, so yeah, that's why, you know, I know... Niggas, everybody's gonna have a few jokes, but we ain't gonna be on those. Nigga, let's not go overboard with it. That's all I'm saying. Like, right. The first couple of days, everybody got their joke or two, but now it's like, all right, y'all chill. Like, hold your head. Like, send prayers and positive shit. Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to, uh, hold on. Nigga said they eat mud and sea stones over there. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, damn, I'm sorry, UK, but damn, y'all gotta like, y'all, nigga. Y'all the sea stones probably got more flavor, nigga. Like, you know, that's that's real. Shit, I don't know. Man. I might take the sea stones over them damn beans and and Hobbit sausages and and fucking blood sausages. And Yo, honestly, blood the only th- I mean, the only thing, the only thing for the UK that I, I'd fuck with over there is the beef Wellington and shit like that. The beef Wellington is you know it's the, it's the only uk food that i'd be like okay this is i can eat that shit but everything else is like you better point me to the nearest place where i can get me a shawarma or something or not yeah find me your, your finest curry 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm eat. I'll eat fish and chips my whole. If I ever visit the UK, I'm eating fish and chips. And I, I, now, it, even the fish and chips. Look, it, it, uh, I see pictures. Of them shits don't even look like it. Shit looks like it's it's all batter and shit. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to think. What's this? Shit? They have the damn shit. They be dipping the French fries in. I just be like, I don't know. They fries don't look appealing, my nigga. Like. Nigga, they put peas under fries. Hell no, it does. Yes, that's what it, that's what he said. Oh my I ain't gonna lie, French fries my favorite food, but I be looking at the fries sometimes. I saw a couple pictures of fries, and I'm like, what the fuck? They, they bastardize their fries. Yeah, it's dude. peas and beans on fries. I'm like, yeah, yo, like, this is what the fuck? Like, yo, like this shit don't. This shit don't. This, one of these things are not like the other. And neither of them are like the other. My nigga, like, like have you heard of ketchup, nigga? Like mustard, beans and peas. Like, you know, and they sell. And, and this is and this is. This is like a snack to them. Like, like no. I can imagine, and like they be at arenas with that shit, like, and they be showing it off. Like, I be seeing it on Twitter, and you know, niggas be having their little that that little box with the French fries and the little gravy in it, and they're like, yeah, my. yeah, and they be smiling too, eating smiling like, shit. yeah, like, like they got a damn like a uh, like a dope ass snack wrap or or. or, or a good bur- <laughs> eight layer burrito or something over there. Like, <laughs> right? The right? niggas acting like they holding a gyro or something. Like, no, you got some pissy looking fries and this fucking yeah. wanker sauce, nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yo, them fries be limp as shit, too. It's like, yo, fries look fries nasty. Shit, like, 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 like yeah. I'll take Checkers fries over there. I'll take Wendy's fries, McDonald's fries, Burger King fries, anybody fries over those. Like, their fries just like. The most unappealing fries I've ever seen in my life. Yo, facts, facts. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me more more comments real quick. My bad. I'm gonna just catch up on these. So I said, shut up. We're realest nigga on YouTube. Yeah, man. And we represent the realest gang on YouTube, man. Rain gang. You know what it is. Beth, what it do, my nigga? Free Big Mac. I know, right? But he, yo, yo. I ain't gonna, like that nigga. Diet gonna be on point when he come back. Like, yeah, bros gonna come. Get bros come out here. You know, on some Richard Simmons shit, like you know, <laughs> yeah, he gonna lose some. You know that he that that might be the blessing right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the bro <laughs> saying that bros and they're you know <laughs> sitting down there with it. You know, with this, you know, his shoes getting ready to explode in Doritos and shit. They get like, nah, stop. You made me think of that damn Kurt Russell movie, nigga. <laughs> um, the, what the. Ah, the show of oh, Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> he started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he yeah, he, like, it, 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 but yeah. I mean, hopefully, Bo Mac will, like I said, hopefully a loophole because, like I said, if you know, if they, if he got the guns in the country, they should, be, you know, someone if felt here should be able to at least let him off with a warning or whatever, or, or fine or yeah. something like that. I mean, he probably won't be able to come back to UK for a while. I mean, depending on probably the best case scenario and shit like that, though. But um, yeah, you know, they you know they 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 need to like you know they have to realize they let the guns into the country. He didn't. It wasn't like Bra found them on the streets somewhere. And just you know, be a little lenient. Like he was over there training one of y'all motherfucking fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like, you get a nigga some slack. Like shit, just, if you went over there and the motherfucker lost, then you know maybe you know maybe I could see that gun going in there. It's like yo, you motherfucker, like. You couldn't win with Crawford. We give you our most talented guy, and you fuck that up. Nah, no, no. He he did y'all a solid, and it's like, mm-hmm. y'all. This how y'all repay the man. Like, let that nigga go. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, yeah, Bomek. Like I say, you know, hopefully hold your head. You know, Bomek. You know, like see though, and uh, I mean, yeah. Try you just try to imagine like the peas on fries is like barbecue or something, nigga. Like you know, you're gonna need. <laughs> 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 this nigga said, imagine the peas on barbecue. Oh, like, <laughs> God, stop. Hold on, do y'all, do y'all like Raising Cane's? I've never had them, uh, Deontay Jones. Um, neither, like, neither have I. Yeah, I, I, I moved to a place that has it. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. It was good at first, but the, it's kind of, it's a, it's high. It's I, I mean, it's cool, but it's, you know. One through ten. Uh, seven. Okay. But I mean, so basically, if you're smacked, it's, it, it, it will improve the flavor of raisin yeah, cane. Yeah, that probably. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I, again, I've only been to one of them. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's just the restaurant when I go to. But you know, like, yeah, it's you know what? Let me actually see where raisin canes is like around me. Hey, have you ever been to raisin canes? I have not. Oh, ah, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, he said no. Yeah, let me maybe see where Mac, raisin canes. Big Mac, Mike, I'm mad curious. <laughs> Yo, Beth, stop, nigga. 
If Bowman comes out bigger, Paul's like, big. Hey, that, hey, means hey, snuck, hey, that means they snuck food in for as that. Long as Bowman, did I, yeah, did, did, honestly, that, that's right. And you know what? It kind of makes him look guilty because if you sneaking food in there, then I could see how you snuck that gun in. But I hate that I have to say that. But just, don't Bo Mac, just don't give Bo Mac the top bunk. Please don't give him the top bunk. <laughs> I don't think he can climb up there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! shit. Yo, th- yo, there's two restaurants in Massachusetts that have it. Well, three. There's one, actually one in. Oh shit, one where I actually used to live. All right, you know what? I might make it. I might make it a thing because there's no boxing this weekend. So Saturday, I might actually take my yo, ass. We, we need a King P review, bro. We we need a um. What, what, King P was the opinionated New Yorker tries Detroit pizza. Yeah, you know. Bro, yeah, we I'm we a, need I'm a, a Pat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. Cause I, I I know exactly where they actually. I'm, well, I didn't, I didn't even know they even opened that shit, my nigga. So that's. A, they actually it, have it, a. I, I'm looking. They have a raising canes. Uh, in New York too, they have like two of them. And, it's it's uh, all right. I mean, it's cool. But I always serve with chicken tenders, and also, um, fries is my favorite food. But crinkle fries is what they serve. In, I hate crinkle fries, so that's kind of nothing. Down. Crinkle fries is like the damn. The fucking the smush Parker of fries, nigga. <laughs> like who the fuck? Like y'all ruined that now. Like, uh, yeah, uh, okay. hey, the coleslaw on the bread. They got, the coleslaw and the bread they, got bread. they got one in Times Square. I'm gonna have to try it out. The, the, the toast, the bread. It comes with bread and toast. Uh, you know, bread and coleslaw. That's that's better than the fries. So that kind of weird to me. But coleslaw. what the fuck? I don't know if the coleslaw. bread and the fries is better than the, no, no, the bread and the coleslaw is better than the fries. Ugh. Nigga, See, wait, I, wait, I, I, wait. I, I, you just basically said the water boy and the towel and the cheerleader are better than the damn the <laughs> point guard. <laughs> no, that sounds fucking wild. The col- yeah. col- I mean, I never, I, uh, I never eat coleslaw. I mean, I don't know when KFC had the coleslaw. They still have coleslaw. I never ate that shit. Even when KFC was actually was banging at the time, like I never. Ate I know that this nigga shit. said he copping this shit right now. You really listen to the podcast by the cops on Raisin Cane? <laughs> you gotta I mean, tell if- nigga you need a, your food fresh. Fuck it, the wait is worth it. The fries I mean, are good if you tell them fresh. Motherfucker, I shouldn't have to tell you I want fresh fries if I'm paying my hard-earned goddamn money for fries. No, I'm going to go up and there like, yo, you know what? Sell me the most stainless fries you got in here, my man. Like, what's good? Yeah, see, like, the, the Raisin Cane's around me, they're open until, like, 11.30. So, like, they'd be closing, like, so at least it's going to open a little later than usual. So, yeah, and I got to tell it. Yo, I, this nigga said if you tell him fresh, like I fucks with you, my nigga. But why do I have to tell him fresh? <laughs> For, seriously, that's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, um, that's that's all I'm saying. But yo, word, if there was a fucking um, raising canes down here, I would try it just so I could be in on this whole. Like, hey, raisin canes, hey, da, 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 chicken tenders. There's none in no. Florida, my nigga. Uh, really? Not, not, not nearby. Not me, nigga. I don't know. Shit. I mean, y'all look real quick, man. Shit. Uh, put Fort Lauderdale or some shit. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give you my exact zip code, niggas. Would be like, oh, hmm, hmm. the run into Shutterworth. You yeah, know, yeah, don't yeah, be that, 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 uh, or some shit. Well, they have nine locations in Florida. God damn. So let's see. Let me read them off. There's Are they spread a, out like NFL teams or just cluttered? <laughs> it looks like there's, there's like seven in Miami and then two outside of Miami. Or at least God I think damn, it's Miami. seven in Miami? Well, in Miami? honestly, they, I mean, not one of them is saying actually Miami. They're saying like, you know, was it Palm Royal, uh, Palm Beach, Boynton Beach, Palm God Beach, damn. Campano Beach, Point, uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida, Miami Beach, Cutler Bay, ah. Homestead, ah. Clearwater, ah. Blue Clearwaters, ah. <laughs> Canesville. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those, those are the Florida ones, nigga. Motherfucker, like they just danced all around where I live. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, no one, like, I right, well, okay, um, uh, well, so um, I won't be having a review of uh, Raising Canes um, <laughs> on the cut. channel. On the spinoff, on our spinoff, but we'll, we'll do it. Then. We'll talk. About it. <laughs> yeah, so y'all gonna have to give me a different food mission or some shit. Um, like, yeah, because Raising Canes. Hey, see what is you a no-go. see what you started, Deontay. See what you see what you started. You know, you, 
Yeah, well, I mean, I got at least I have I have my food mission, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, so yeah, I guess like I said, hopefully, like I said, this Saturday, you know, I'll take I'll take my ass down over there. If I'm not stuffed from eating steak tomorrow, uh, I'll I will try to take myself there on Saturday evening and indulge and 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 create a video for this. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's probably better when you're cooked. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I just get semi-cooked, like yeah. Don't get pilot cooked. Yeah, don't don't eat edibles. I mean, I'm gonna tell these niggas like, I want my I want my chickens fried hard and shit, nigga. Like I'm gonna tell them straight up like that, yo. Pause. <laughs> oh, but make sure you tell them the fries are fresh, nigga. Like Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like, yo, like yo. <laughs> I heard if I heard if y'all don't tell me, I heard if I don't say nothing, y'all just gonna give me like yesterday's fries. Is that true? Like, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like, you better, you, you better, we better ref- it look. If they look pale, you, you better refry them damn shits. Yeah, you I would be like homeboy on uh, Tales from the Hood, like with the refried beans. Like, nigga, why didn't you fry them since right the first time? <laughs> Are you calling them since refried beans? <laughs> uh, these niggas, yo, the hood, like the like when niggas talk about food, that's like some of the funniest shit. Um, hell yeah, you know, food, food is essential. Food is uh, essential for Ring Gang Radio. It's, food, it's, it's essential for everybody, you know. But yeah, when, when we talk about food, we get we get in our bag about that shit because so yeah, some food out there is just absolutely just trash, and some of it is actually good. Some of it needs highlights. Some of it needs to be. You know, it needs to be like we need to scold this motherfucker, like we like the UK for having such bad food. Like you know, when we get on that shit, and then the other thing with the raisin cane. So yeah, because I didn't even know raisin canes was even that fucking close to me. So like yeah, I, I need mean, to. Yeah. I didn't know it was that fucking far from me. You gotta, I got a better chance of bumping into raisin cane in than, than fucking. <laughs> Raising canes, <laughs> <laughs> getting near raising canes, like shit, like nigga, I, I, I nigga, I, I mean, I might stumble on a blue, a blue, uh, a blue cap. Facts, yo. Down in Florida, <laughs> nigga, every, every, every drug known the man down in this bitch. <laughs> oh shit, yo, nigga, yeah, six yeah, minute old fries, like nigga. God damn! So hold on, fries. So the fry window just jumps off a cliff after six minutes from raising canes. Yo, honestly, that sounds honestly that sounds like fucking uh, Chuck E. Cheese pizza too. Like if you don't eat that shit within thirty minutes, that sa- that sauce turns sour. I, I worked that once. So I-, I know what I'm talking about. So Chuck E. Cheese is this really used to around? Yes, there's one down the street for me. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. What Chuck E. Cheese has been. Chuck E. Cheese, yes. And Chuck yeah, Cheese. originally they thought they were going to close. It's been but open now, forever. Yeah, like like the one, yeah, the one I went to, the one I worked at. Like, I mean, this shit, this shit was open since cause it used to be called Showbiz, I think, and then it went to Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. So, yeah, that should been that should been around my like my town for like for a minute. Showbiz. That name don't even sound right for some like place for kid parties and shit. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like more like a nightclub. Like, hey, yo. Hey, y'all going to showbiz, nigga? They be having all the hoes out there, nigga. What's good? But yo, I mean, Chuck E. Cheese, uh, I mean, Chuck E. Cheese was a fucking adventure. Like, cause I, cause I, I worked there during my senior year in high school, man. I was a cook in the kitchen, and then eventually, um, I had to go. At the time, I had to go in the costume, like, and actually perform, do the Chucky e. dance and all that other shit, nigga. Like, this shit was, ah, shit, yeah. yeah, the fucking costume was never fucking washed. Like in the in the six seven months that I worked at that place, like I get uh, and there was three costumes, nigga. I could pick each of one, like you know. And I don't think and I used to I used to see the I used to go look into the head, pause, and I used to see like dirt marks and everything where niggas' foreheads would be. I'm like, yo, is, is anyone clean this shit? Like, like you seriously, like man, COVID would have damn ravaged that place. Yo, and 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 fuck it too. It's like the cook. I mean, being a cook wasn't that bad. It except you know you, when you had to do clean up on a hot hot ass summer day. But you know, being in that fucking costume, having to dance, and depending who you was dancing for, if you were dancing for a white oh, family, you know you could just do all this, and you know they was cool with it. If it was if it was a black family, you gotta bust out all the shit you saw on fucking BT Rap City, nigga. Like you know, you know, I, some I, black I, families you gotta earn that shit. Yeah, like I, 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 I remember, nigga. I used to, you know, I remember I used to like fucking crip walk and fucking pop block all that shit and top of doing guys niggas and do all and do the running man, do the roller, oh all types of shit. Like, so, so. <laughs> you know, I, I had to because you, 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 
because 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 they were like you know ah uh-uh, we see we didn't pay for all that and you know they were like no you we didn't gotta, pay for this gotta. gumpy ass white boy shit you do it nigga we ain't pay for this Carlton shit nigga. yeah you know what I'm saying? Bust, like, bust some soul train dances nigga do the hammer time do something like you know so I'm pretty sure there's some black families if you if you know between you know they actually have a video of me you know like having to having to think about okay what did I just see in the one twelve video that I, I can copy nigga like. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just busting out the boys, the men dances, all that shit. Yo, it, it, it's real too. And then the, if it was a Hispanic family, oh, yo, you gotta do salsa, all type of shit. Like you know, you get the one drunk relative, and I'd be like, hey, I poppy, and they want to do all that shit. And I'm just like, yo, I used to, I used to tell like the the party, like the people who were doing the party, I was like, yo, you see this, like get them off of me. Like get them, get them off of me, you know, because they began, they began too wild, yo. That shit, that that that, that shit was a wild ass job, though. But I, I like because it, it gave me a lot of fuckery memories. Like it shit was cool, except though when I had to walk around the restaurant after that shit, and kids would be kicking me. And one, I remember one kid punting me from behind, kicking me right in my fucking nuts, and you know, and damn, had me on the ground like cussing, like you know, she was, she was horrible. And they had one adult that turned his fucking head around and I couldn't see shit. And you're like, haha, that's funny, right? No, nigga, it's not funny. Get your get your punk ass on. Like, get like your... people working, bro. Like Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's I, true. I can understand some engagement, but like don't be a dick. Yeah, exactly though. And then the food too, because I mean, like I said, the food, if you don't eat the food within 30 minutes, like it goes sour pretty much and you know the kids eat that shit and they get into the ball pit they throw up they shit they pee in it and you see all that shit at the end of the night and it's just gross like you know it's oh uh-huh. yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like yeah some foods it's like it, it really does it be like that like yeah it takes us just more of my time and it, it's useless so uh, yeah i'm mm. gonna make sure raisins canes their their fries it better be fresh and i'm gonna eat them shits first if they're gonna you be know, my do, like, ask the smartest idea she'd always ask can i get my fries with no salt you know what i mean so like what well, like, I, I do that now i've, I've been doing that for oh, a minute it's, it's smart yeah because some of these restaurants they be putting dumb amount of salt on that shit. they be like trying to give me real high blood pressure well, well i mean also because it would be fresh yeah they have to cook in your batch you know what i mean type of thing really. yeah yeah yeah, and then they, they see you take a salt packet and they be like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'd be point. like, yeah, because y'all niggas don't know how to d- do this shit. Yeah, I hate, yeah, I hate fucking, I hate fries aren't hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's KFC like, garbage, though. They have too much grease on the chicken. Yo, KFC hasn't been, hasn't been shit since they changed their no, original no. recipe. Oh, I, I yeah. feel like the whole, I mean, you see their Popeyes with a little hole in the wall spot, you know what I'm saying? The hole in the wall spot. You know, or the local spot, should I say, you know, the mom and pop chicken. Popeye's place. chicken be too damn small. Yeah, yeah, you're right, dog. Yeah, the, the, it's kind of like it's funny. It's y'all speak about chicken. I had some fucking um. I was at the damn white folks' Publix, man. Like, and I say that because there's a difference between Publix in the white neighborhoods and the hood. <laughs> I gotta try Publix. I heard that chicken is, is crazy. Yes. Cause, okay. It's funny you say that because that's just what I want to talk about. I had some Publix, like Nashville fired wings today. And them bitches is lit. Them shits is like spicy because I I hardly ever eat fried food. Like this is like first time I had like some fried food and like damn, good minute. Wow, but um maybe a year or, or something. But um and them shits is busting. It's like damn Publix, y'all never see that shit at the damn uh, Publix in the hood, nigga. <laughs> never. I'm like damn, y'all get all fancy with the damn like the little deli items and shit over here. Like ooh oh oh. Mm-hmm. Caesar Greek salad? Ha uh-huh. ha! Like, mm. let me get my pad on. Like, okay, y'all got this over here. Like, you know what I mean, we go into the hood. It's like, hey, nigga, take this potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad. Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> oh, no um, customer service whatsoever, nigga. The customers always oh, right. Didn't you know that? <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, my bad. Um, damn. Um, but yeah, one thing I wanted to mention. It's not really a rant. But just I want to see how everything played out, and at the end of the day, like it's it was a genius, it was a genius finesse, you know, because it played on everybody just always wanting to blame and shit and hate on black men. But that whole Brickgate shit was crazy. <laughs> Word. You had to know it was a, some bullshit when it first when it first happened because if you box. Are you in the streets? You got into any fights? You know, you knew Shorty if she would have really got hit with a brick, 
There's no way she'd be that animated and be up there coherently talking, naming this, that, that, with that damn Haseem Rockman I'm saying, lump like on her face. And there was no scratches or bruises. B- dude, niggas' fists make bruises and, and marks on your face. So you mean a whole ass brick doesn't? Like, yeah. it just, you had that fucking lump, just, it just swole up like, yo. So there was a nigga outside in the club, some African, she must have ran into a nigga that trained with Ike Corte or, or <laughs> Juma Nelson, and he was out there shadow boxing, and then I guess he wanted her number, and you know, she was like, no, and then he was like, bop, 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 he, he it man, he it man punched her to death, so yeah, um, but yeah, it was bullshit, and um, you kept seeing more videos trying to point out shit, and I think the last video I seen where some, some black dude he expertly broke it down he pinpointed he talked about how the whole face mask that she had on like she gave away everything if you really watch the video and he said the face mask basically was for her to apply the product the prosthetic to her the shit to her face to make that swelling mm. and basically she was like a crisis actor and she's always doing go fund me that's her thing and I seen that the GoFundMe at one point I seen it was like 25k. God I think damn. she made to like 40k and then she now she's delete her TikTok this that disappeared and I'm like Yep. Yeah. 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 Yo, yo, like for mess and, and for things no, too, like, damn well, like nobody gets hit with a brick and dude, people get killed getting hit with a brick into the head. Right, exactly. And you mean to tell me this big ass Amazonian looking bitch? took a brick to the side of the head and first of all if you like what like unless a nigga approach you with a brick in his hand if you're talking to someone arguing how the fuck he just gonna reach down and just grab shuffle th- like you're are you still gonna be looking at this nigga like hey what are you doing guy i don't want to talk to i'm saying uh yeah i'm just inconspicuously waiting for something to happen from someone i don't want to even deal with Mm-hmm. Like it was just so much bullshit, but as soon as you just had somebody give you some type of a hey, niggas ain't shit, and they give you a little bit of belief, like a, a little bit, just they say, you know what, <clears throat> we can make it work. We won't, we you know, motherfuckers will buy it. They'll 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 eat it up, and and motherfuckers did, and, and motherfuckers are just like, nah, that's a, a Somalian shit. Like niggas over here ain't knocking bitches in the head with bricks and shit. Like niggas ain't doing shit like that. Like, like if niggas do some shit like that's desperate dope fiend energy shit. Like, yeah, you a sociopath, a, a psychopath, yeah. a psychopath yeah. type of path, nigga. Like, yeah, it ain't no regular niggas because she made it seem like it's just regular niggas chilling and it's like on oh, some fresh print shit. Like the basketball rolled over there to the bleachers. You're like, oh, fuck this. What's the brick at? Mm-hmm. Bullshit, but yeah, it was just I just had to mention that it was just some real. It just you gotta point out the finesse. It's like sometimes, you know, and that's why I try to discuss boxing and everything objectively, so you don't let the hate cloud your judgment and you jump the gun on certain shit. Except except like, your Canelo talks, nigga. Nah, like I don't hate on because is, is Canelo a top ten pound for pound guy? Yes. Is he skilled Hall of Famer? Yes. Does he pick and choose opponents? Has he avoided guys? Yes. Yeah. Does he get power everybody? Armor? Yes. Everybody picking and choosing, nigga. Stop. Not not on Canelo level, nigga. How yeah. many people are on that level, though? Yeah. Everybody on his level dude, is picking dude, and okay. choosing. Name everybody on his level is picking and choosing. Boxing, who has ever been an elite fighter and they fought Chavez Jr., Amir Khan, and Liam Smith in a row. Three garbage fights in a row for an elite. Level boxer. Amir Khan was wrong. Nah. When the when same Amir Khan that was going life and death with Chris Algieri. When you're in the face of they, boxing, they, they, he should have got should have lost that fight. Hell yeah. Nah, I just said I did. I, <coughs> I just called him. See, this is the thing. A lot of times, you you know when nigga can't be objective if he can't say five positive things or five good things about the subject they're discussing that's the difference a lot of niggas who was dissing Golovkin's career they could never say five things positive about him 
A lot of niggas who this so much this nigga career that career, they can't say five things positive about him. Niggas, niggas couldn't say five things positive about in a way. Mm-hmm. Like either, motherfuckers is getting mad if we just say, well, you know, you know, he's good. Like, nah, nah, motherfucker, nah. Like, yeah, he's overrated. He ain't fighting nobody. Like, god damn. So yeah, so he had to show and prove, and he and, and unfortunately, yeah. Fulton was the he was the scapegoat. <laughs> Just, just like a raising canes got to show and prove. <laughs> shit, but remember, when you hate something or you want something to be true so bad, you don't have to show and prove. Just like old girl with the brick. You want to believe niggas ain't shit. You want to believe so bad that niggas will just stand there and watch a broad get hit with a brick. You want to believe something like that so bad that right. a bitch can literally finesse niggas for 40K. Right. On some like hospital bills, like nigga had some homegirl say, "Hey, just come to the hospital. Yo, come to yo. This is my shift today. Just come to the hospital. Like you got a headache, and mm-hmm. you could do your little TikTok video in there, show proof that you hurt. Yo, nigga, you get hit with a brick, you knocked out cold, motherfucker. Yo, like I said, you know, clout and social media is just, it's just, it's just running rampant. Like everyone's it a fucking is. clout. Everyone's a fucking clout demon. Everyone wants to be a fucking star." And, you know, they don't, they don't got no talent, so they sort to doing all some old bullshit. And you would resort to that? Like, oh my god, like, like that's crazy. Like, but uh, uh, you know, speaking of social media, because I want to make sure I get, the, I get, I get. Oh this yeah, thing. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because this, this is one of my old head rants, and I did post about this in our private chat too. But I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't know what these little niggas is doing these days. Like, you know, there was a video of, uh, you know, kids they were in. Uh, in the room, in the locker room, they were celebrating a victory. <laughs> oh you know? shit! I already know. <laughs> yeah, but you know, and, you know, you know, I'm thinking of stuff. You know, you think you are playing something with a lot. You know, they play something with a lot of strong masculine energy or some shit like that. You no, know, these niggas were 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 listening to fucking sexy red and singing along, talking about my butt big, my booty hole brown. Really, really working. Like you know, I was like, are you serious? That one nigga at the end of the video was like, like the video was bad enough. But then it's like that when he jumped at the end, and when he yeah. when he added himself, I was just like disgusted. I was like, stop. Yeah, I was like, what are you? I was like, what are these niggas doing? Like, you know, like I'm sorry. Like, if I was a coach, I would. Yeah, you you right, nigga? Because I don't know. When I was in football, there was one zesty nigga, and then nobody would even talk to this nigga. Like you will be like, yo, nigga, you stay over there with your shit, nigga. We over here doing the rah rah. Yeah. Now it's like everybody's a flip a coin. You don't know if this nigga gonna be with a girl or a boy. Or he like both, or he gonna grow up playing football and end up playing women's basketball, or you don't know what the fuck these niggas doing. These niggas to grow up playing women's basketball. Yeah, but, and but that's just, the thing. Like the zesty, that like, everybody's the zesty nigga now, and the normal nigga is in the corner also. Like, like they're like, yeah, normal nigga, you stay over there. Zesty yeah, nigga, no, they're rah, like rah, normal rah. niggas sing this sexy red song. <laughs> Are we gonna beat you up? Like, damn man. <laughs> It's reverse bullying now, like, cause the whole tweet the niggas like, man, my little brother said he gonna quit the football team after this. I don't blame him. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how if, if that's true or not, but I do not blame him either. I don't. Oh, and another thing with that sexy red shit, I'm tired of seeing these videos of the teachers using ski yeet to shut them niggas up. You can't control your classroom without using ratchet ass songs. Your ass should not be a teacher. These, these, teachers, these teachers are sitting in the front of a classroom with four-year-olds, five-year-olds talking about if you see me, then you try to see what's up. It, all, listen, if my if my daughter knew that song, she'd get no internet for the rest of the year, nigga. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Fucking yeah. four-year-olds talking about ski. Do you even know what that song is about? Pulling up on your nigga and fucking. That's what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, and, and that's the thing. Like, it was, and, and just just seeing that, in locker, I'm just, I'm like, yo, it's like, yo, is there not enough masculine songs out there today that niggas can actually vibe to? No, I'm not saying that you can't vibe to a, a female joint or whatever, but there's but certain like, female songs. Like, look, I gotta understand you got you bumping throw that yellow in the classroom, but then you feel to be bumping WAP in the classroom. You feel me? Like, it's certain. Yeah. Certain like, and even if niggas be like, "Well, you old niggas had Lil Kim and Foxy Brown, yada yada." Yes, we did, but there's certain Lil Kim songs you can fucking bump around people. There's some shit you just nah, we not bumping that Lil Kim song. We no, not or, that that, or, or, or this, or there's a filter like you know, like I mean, 
Like, I remember, you know, I mean, I fucking love Rage Afropus when she's talking about, let me, you know, like, just like my bra strap. And I'm like, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna repeat that shit. Or even when uh, the locks and, the, and Dipset were battling and Jada was trying, was about to sing Eve's part for Ride or Die, bitch. And he caught himself doing that shit because he was like, wait a minute, hold on, what the fuck am I doing? I can't, I can't be saying that you shit. You see how we could check ourselves when, when yeah. for shit like that, but when white people, they gotta do the whole song and say nigga with it. Yeah, you see, like, so yeah. don't tell me. So, just, just, just minor digression, mm-hmm. sidetrack. Don't tell me y'all can't check yourselves when y'all singing them songs. Hey, don't lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's kinda, all I'm saying. Kind of on the topic. I know. I think uh, what's his name? Warren G said it the other day. But even though Eminem gets a lot of hate, he's a little corny. Um, the Watcher, those verses on the Watcher, especially the last verse, that was kind of fucking crazy. How. He wrote that for Dre. It sounds like you know this that last verse. He's speaking some real shit. I'm like, damn, Eminem did kind of body. His pen was kind of fire back then. I'm not gonna lie, on the on, on the Watcher, the original Watcher, because he wrote that. He wrote that. I'm just saying, like you know, because he's writing from the perspective of a black man talking about cops, you know, making him do shit, you know, type of shit. That was just a fire. That was a genius verse. I mean, Eminem I mean, from Detroit, he's seeing some hood shit. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not. Like, I mean. I mean, it's not, it's not. I mean, it's not Eminem is Aesop Rock or some shit like that. Like, yeah, <laughs> but, but you know, but the Eminem, like you know, some of the fans, oh, he's a goat, he's a goat. You know, some of his fans, but really, you know, like he's not really a goat. You know, he's not a goat. But I'm not gonna. If someone says he had top ten, I, I, I'm not gonna argue. Someone's top fifteen, whatever. But the, the top five is where I draw the line. But there, was, yeah, top top five, five but, but there was a wave where Eminem, you know, Eminem corny became a a, a popular thing to say. What I'm saying. Well, yeah, it's been because he stuck, he stuck, because he stuck, because he fell off. Eminem fell off, you know, like and he was hard. forced. He was forced at a lot of shit. A lot yeah, of yeah. after the Eminem show, it, it, it did become a pretty fucking forced one. Yeah, because you notice after the Eminem show, like his music wasn't in the hood like that no more. I didn't really see black people play Eminem's it music. Catchy, it was some catchy shake that ass bullshit, you know. Like, yeah, like well, the true first point, two that albums that did bump in the club though. That shit that he did with with Akon, it did bump. Like it I don't know why. Like, that, that, like yeah, I, I don't know. It's a corny. Like the song goes for some reason, but yeah, it's a stupid. Mm-hmm. Ah, goddamn! Like, yeah, like honestly, that, that that might be the only Eminem song in the club that really hit. Like that shit. Really <laughs> no, no, nobody on the Lean Back remix. Nobody yeah. played the Lean <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Back remix, but nobody's playing the Real Slim Shady. So, like, of course. Yeah, no, nah, was, when it, n- not in the club, but yeah, when the Real Slim Shady club. came out, oh, niggas yeah, was, was playing that shit. I, playing that. I feel like the last the last song that motherfuckers was really fucking with like that was that uh, Superman. Oh, that shit still. That shit still goes hard. Oh, that's what I love. Superman was actually. This one was just awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I love that song. I love Superman's classic. What'd you say? What'd you say, Pat? Yeah, no, I thought Super, Superman was dope. I actually like that joint. That that's was a good that song. Was... It's a real good song. It's a real good song. Yeah. One, but, one but after, yeah, but yeah, after Eminem show, Eminem pretty much stopped, stopped giving a fuck. Like, you know, basically because he put he was putting on some real bullshit. Like, I'm talking about some horrible, like, uh, what was it? Um, Encore. Encore, I listened to that shit. I was like, you fucking kidding me? Like, this shit is trash. So, like, and then he kept trying to be a producer. And it's like, he fucked up the Tupac album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listened to that Tupac shit. Beats. Yeah, I listened to that Tupac shit once. His, produce, like, his producing yeah. is horrible. And he, like, changed that fucking shit to where, like, there was a, like, he kind of dubbed it to say shit that Pac would not say. Exactly. Pac, that, that Eminem is yeah. a horrible producer. I mean, he has some gems, but yeah, it's not his cup, full cup of tea. Definitely, he's, he's, his claim to fame is that renegade beat, like, because he made that beat, right? Or what, what was that? The rumor, or him and Roy? Yeah, 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 he, he made the renegade beat. Him, him and Roy yeah, that's the dude. That see, sometimes you could be perfect on your first go, and it fucks up everything. And mm-hmm. and, and didn't bother. Renegade is a classic yeah. fire beat, and he made that too soon. Mm-hmm. And it just fueled him to think like, oh shit, I could crank out shit like this all the time. Yeah, you can't. You can. And he couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't. And and it's like, dude, like I don't know how you can make one fire classic beat, and then the rest of the shit you make is like nowhere close to it. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Like even if he was to say like other producers, they'd be like, okay. Like even Swiss Beats, yeah, Swiss Beats niggas used to get at him. He'd have some corny shit, but then he have some like, okay, this fire, like. So at least there was some type of balance, but goddamn Eminem, you just 
one classic fire beat everything else is like ugh, yeah like, he, he was, yeah he was really trying to force the producer shit at, and yeah a lot of his shit was just it wasn't it wasn't it, it was, yeah it sounded cheap it sounded you know un- uninspiring, See, uninspiring boring dull bland whatever fucking shit you could describe a damn mm. um pretty loop shit for rego fight <laughs> yeah like, like like he like he had some shit like i mean I, I, I didn't know he, he produced on fire for lloyd banks and that shit was actually dope for him he, i wonder if he produced light oh, toy wow. i wonder if he produced light toy soldiers i ain't gonna lie i do like that that beat I, I like that toy okay so he has two beats that are fire out of fucking hundreds <laughs> <laughs> nigga like if, dude look if you oh my y'all could have been like if shit if I was yeah. to tell you the ratio for like the amount of clan Anki beats I have that are fire, like mm-hmm. you you're talking about somebody I've known this nigga since like maybe 2013, like mm-hmm. so I got like over 10 hours of instrumentals and beats from dude, like literally, like mm-hmm. I would say a good 80 percent of them since is fire. So imagine, like, so could you believe having? Imagine you a D12 nigga, you a, a slim, you a shady artist nigga, and uh, you got 10 hours worth of Eminem beats on your computer. <laughs> nigga, I would cry. Well, Lloyd Banks I just know it's like my hard drive is just, it just got junk on it, nigga. Mm-hmm. What, what Lloyd Banks song did you say he did? On Fire. Oh, I didn't know he did On Fire. Yeah, that was, yeah that's one of them. Yeah, Lloyd Banks number one he, fan? He did, uh, I know he produced to the end, and that was a good beat. Yeah. Oh damn, three beats out of a hundred. Okay. <laughs> and wait, hold on. Didn't he? Didn't he produce? Uh, didn't he do Wangster? Nah, he ain't do no fucking Wangster. Yo, I'm that that would be some shit if he actually did. Hold on, let me look. Let me look. Hold yeah, I got. Yeah, you gotta find that out. No, Sean Money did that shit. Sean, yeah, that's okay. what I'm saying. Like, they had no this damn much I was gonna say there was a, there, well, what? Fi- no, no, no. He did um, not not Wankster. Um, fuck. Uh, didn't he so do uh, cascade or something? Or no. Um, fuck. Uh, did he do patiently waiting? Patiently, yeah. I think I think. But well, patiently waiting's not a good beat either, though. That's okay. Like, I mean, for for Eminem standard, it was pretty good. I mean, for what the niggas rapped about and shit like that, it was cool. Like, it, it, yeah, it, it was, was cool. It's not a like, like, I'm not. It's it, it's not up there with the other beats y'all niggas just named. Like, patiently waiting is like it's serviceable. It's cool. It's like, trust me. Look, look. If niggas send me a bunch, of, I used to get beats all the time from niggas. If if you'd have gave me twenty Clanarchy beats, and that beat is in the mix, if you'd have said, yeah, I'm gonna sneak this Eminem beat. I'm gonna even put your own fucking Clanarchy tag on that motherfucker just to fool your ass i'm gonna be like nah not this <laughs> so y'all you ain't gonna fool shit on me nigga nah <laughs> but if that's the beat you hear playing and you go into the studio for the first time that day and mm-hmm. i go in there i'm like oh shit okay clan Arky, you in here okay damn and if i see pat nodding his head and and then dz come up and say hey man he got a verse in it like and, and i'm like damn Beats cool, like niggas is fucking with it. I don't want to be the damn the so the uh the the sore sport the the nigga who fuck up the vibe. I'll just be like, all right, mm-hmm. shit, all right, all right. Let me get a verse on this. All right, you say he got a verse. All right, all right. That's the only way some verses getting written, nigga. Let's exactly. motherfucker beg you. I've had that happen. I think a beat is like literally trash, and I'm like, damn, shit, come on, shut this spit on it, nigga. Shit, I forgot he did Jay Z's moment of clarity. I'm like looking oh, at his yeah. production. See, that's the thing. They was really trying to make this nigga a, a super producer. We were just like, no, nigga, just rap and stop fucking changing your voice. Stop making beats. Just fucking rap. Yeah, stop making. Stop doing a lot of poo poo pee pee references. Which he was doing a whole lot of shit like that. Was, yeah, that, it, like damn. And uh, Miss Bitch said all 2000 songs are iconic. It depends what you're talking about. Well, what's what's yeah. an icon? I mean, in the early, like honestly, in the early half of t- in the early 2000s, because it was still like normal. Like you still got some, you still got some quality coming out from there. You know what I'm saying? But once that, once the decade started going, man, like 
you know, what, I mean, pretty much when Laffy Taffy hit, that's when shit started going off the rails, nigga. Like, niggas was really. That's, that's dumb shit. Yeah, nigga, niggas, niggas was really wild. When niggas was really in that shit with that Casio shit. Do, 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 do. Like, nah, bro. Like, that shit. Y'all remember the song Inside Peanut Butter, Outside Jelly? Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Oh, it was it was one of those that that snap air movement. It was such a trash song. Yeah, I I'm glad. Uh, that ringtone I mean, that ringtone era was fucking terrible. Yeah, I mean music and music in the 2000s. It, it was in the clubs. It was snap music and reggae tone, nigga. Like that shit was a nightmare for niggas. Like, the, like you know, I mean, snap tone niggas will still be on the floor because the you know the women love the shit though. But reggae, see, tone but the was, little John, the little crunk era kind of balanced it out a little bit. Though. Uh, Pat hated reggae tone. Like he he always talks about it with such reggae tone is trash. Like oh my god, like. Like even yeah. Afro beats is better than reggae tone. Like no, Afro beats is always, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm is. not saying it's great. I just, I just find it funny how much to like. Anytime Pat brings up reggaeton, it's like with such disgust. Yeah. It's I, the I, Danny I, Garcia amusing for this nigga. I, I, there, there's I, some, there's some. I mean, there's some good reggaeton songs. I wasn't but. a fan of reggaeton, but I don't, I don't hate it. Like I'm not vocal as Pat when it comes. To- no, because I associate because I said I was in the clubs. Y'all weren't in the clubs during that era. That's why, like. Yeah, it's like, like different in the clubs. It was just worse. Like, well, I, mean, I actually, uh, that I was going to teen clubs and they did play the. Oh, yeah, 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 the oh, it's, it's, it's a club, isn't it? Is it not a club? They still. Nigga, play. I was, nigga, was, I was fucking. Nigga, that's a goddamn after school special, nigga. Like, <laughs> doesn't matter. It's still the club. Nigga, I was, I was drinking liquor and I was having to hear that shit and get pissed, nigga. Like, yeah, oh. that, they, that's what, that's a difference. Now, you know, now you know, imagine, imagine you turned up, you done paid hard earned money, you didn't got your loud on deck, you didn't got your, and you didn't have your Incredible Hulk mixed up. You vibing, yeah, nigga. you already thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna hit up the jerk man after this shit. Okay, if he ain't out there, McDonald's is right there, cool. You know what I mean? You got your black and mild behind your ear, you know what I mean? Blunt in your back. You know what I mean? You vibing and shit, and it's like, that bullshit come on. No, I mean, Bitches start some... twerking too fast and knocking tables yeah. over and shit. Like, <laughs> there's, there's, there's some reggaeton joints I still fuck with. But, yeah, there's you know, like five. Like, if it's Don Omar. The G-Unit was on one of them. <laughs> nah, I, I still fuck with Don Omar. Don Omar is my guy. Uh, Don Omar, Tego Calderon. Uh, mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I, I don't really listen to that much here and there. Once, yeah, no, but, yeah, yeah, but the vibe was different because it'd be like, yeah, you know, Daddy, Yan- Daddy Yankee was okay. Ah, uh, he, I don't know, I got, I got annoyed with Daddy Yankee. He they pushed that nigga at the forefront, but it's. I mean, even Nori tried to ride his way for a hot minute pause. Like, so it's like, yeah. I mean, Nori had a little banger during that time. That shit stayed in the club. Oh my goodness, Luma D and all them. Yeah, man. Nina Sky, nigga, like all that shit. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know how Nori got. I don't know how Nori got on during that time, nigga. Because all the niggas I was rapping was doing way more shit than Nori. Like Nori was coming up with hits. No, yeah, Nori. Yeah, Nori, I, Nori, I, Nori, I, Nori, I, mean, I Nori, I get it. He's Puerto Rican, so he just kind of parlayed it, you know. Oh, he took the Puerto Rican side. Yeah. Uh, well, Nori can actually speak Spanish, so, so that's, that's the thing. Like, no, he can't. Yeah. No, he can't. He, he, he speaks, speaks the damn Spanglish. I mean, nigga, I, nigga I, barely I, speak English on drink here. I mean, I, I've, I've never heard, I've never heard Nori not like. You know, I've never heard anyone say that Nori can't speak Spanish. I've never heard the nigga say hola. <laughs> I've never heard him speak Spanish. Hold up, now I gotta, now I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, I've never even heard him. I gotta go. Uh, I've heard him playing around like. Spanish. Like, nah, the I nigga don't even look like he can pretend to speak Spanish. Spanish. It might, yeah, maybe, you, maybe it's some fat Joe type Spanish. Let me let me go now. I gotta go fucking listen. To yeah, that that that, I've that, never, I've never that heard, New York I've Spanish. Never heard you call up Nori for not speaking Spanish. Like I've yeah. never heard that. Like nigga, that New York anybody, Spanish. All I do is say poppy. The don't niggas don't really speak Spanish. Really, <laughs> I, I don't think anybody even really considers him Puerto Rican. Like, that's the funny thing. So I don't think that they care. I don't think anybody really considers him Puerto Rican. Yeah, just like nobody. He, just like What's his last name? name? That'll tell it all right there. What's his last uh, name? He's, you know, he's, he's definitely Puerto Rican. 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 He's definitely Puerto R
No, but I'm just saying, like, most people don't consider him, like, Puerto Rican. It's like they don't consider Banks, Lloyd Banks Puerto Rican, even though he's half Puerto Rican. Or, yeah, or, 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 or Carmelo or Fabulous. Those niggas are like... Yeah, well, Fab is Dominican, but people don't consider him Dominican. Oh, and there's... There is, there is, AZ Dominican? What? Yeah, AZ Dominican. AZ Dominican too. Dominican too yeah. but, That's that New York shit. Y'all just well, can't stay out of Dykeman. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody considers them Puerto Rican or Dominican, and that's for there's there's reasons behind that that I don't. Fuck and they're with. black. Yeah, they're exactly. too dark. Yeah, they're too dark. Meanwhile, <laughs> I walk down the street, I get all types. Of, oh, you Dominican? You Colombian? You Venezuelan? You did it? No, motherfucker, I'm black. Goddamn. Yeah, but, me but, nigga, this is Florida. They believe in that wet foot, dry foot shit here. They just think you, you know, fresh over here, nigga. Yeah, no, but Nori, but I mean Nori, he, yo, he he jumped hard on that wave though. I, I, truth, I don't blame him. He got a couple, he, he got a couple more hits out of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did, he did. Like he, and then he jumped on it. What's what's up? What the joint? They used to be on BET all the time. My e, my e. It's like a twenty of them niggas rapping. They fat uh, uh, Joe's Mexicans. No, uh, reggaeton Latino. Uh, it's something like that. All I know is they. Dale. They had a posse cut for reggaeton, and it's like, uh, with was Fat Joe on it? I think it's called Maez Maez or something. No, no, like, no, yeah. you're thinking of, um, you're thinking of Oye Mi Canto. No, oh, yeah. no. Look at how Spanish you know the nigga found these sets of titles of these songs. No, they, 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 <laughs> it's, either, it's either Oye Mi Canto or Reggaeton Latino. One of those two. Hold on. Do they say Maez Maez in the fucking song or not, nigga? Oh, it's a. Uh, I mean, I'm a. It's on the. It's on that. Uh, yeah, it's on. It's the a video Nori for album. it. Like I seen the video. Yeah, it's shout, on the shout out to our Latin viewers. Yeah, because it has Nina Sky on there, <laughs> Bat Joe. Louis okay, that pulled it up. Then that's the song. What, what's it called? Was it Moss Mace or some shit like that? Okay, nigga, I can't say that Geechee Geechee bullshit, nigga. Then uh, you know more, what the fuck I'm the Mace 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 Mas, nigga. More corn. More corn. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, see, see, Pat knew exactly. It got like a white background. It got like 20 niggas there. Like, everybody raps on that shit. Yeah. Man, they know how to come up with a song called More Corn. The 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 other shit uh, King P talking about, that's that Nori song. Like, yeah, we knew about that with the. Yeah, that was the single. They love the that, yeah. that shit. Yeah. Wait, which one? Cause, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Uy, mi canto. <laughs> Missy, yeah, Oye, mi canto. There's Oye, mi canto and Reggaeton Latino. He was on those two. Well, one of those was his song. The other ones was Don Mars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he on the uh, the other shit, Pat? Or right, no, ain't, ain't even on that. It's uh, it's everybody else on that shit. I think everyone else is on that shit. This bitch oh, said okay, Fat yeah. Joe is white. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like, like, oh, I still be like just cringe when he be saying nigga. Like, I'd be like, dude, at this point, you just try so hard. Like, I mean, the funny thing, I mean, let's look at Fat Joe because of who he's been affiliated with. Like, I mean, Fat Joe's affiliated with a lot of like I mean, niggas. Like, I hate know. it. With, I, I, yeah, I, I hate. But like, it is un, un, it is kind of a New York thing. I hate. Like, I know people get mad when people say that. Like, it re, like in New York, they really be saying it like that. Like, no matter what. Like, I'm not mad at it. It's just, it just. From him, it kind of comes off corny because so many people press him about it, and it's like he has to almost just go out of his way to just keep doing it. It's kind of like, like, damn. And you and you know, and he's and he's and he's not a black Latino. He's he's as white as his color. Yeah, he's white as fuck, and he's like he's so pressed to be saying that. So shit, un, it's un, like, well, damn. Uh, unfortunately, and I'm not saying I agree with it. Un unfortunately, like in here, it doesn't matter. Like even. Even the white Latinos got treated like. So for example, let me let me give you an example. So I have a, a co-worker of mine that like same complexion as Fat Joe, very similar look to Fat Joe. And growing up, now he's he's in his 60s. And growing up, when he when people when he was called what people he tell people he was Puerto Rican, like the Italian, especially like in the Italian neighborhoods, like they would think he was Italian, and then he would tell them, No, I'm Puerto Rican, and they'd be like, Oh, so you're a straight-haired Negro? That's that's what they were called. That's what they were called Puerto Rican to New York, straight-haired Negro. So like even the white Latinos would get treated like they're Negro. So they're always like, well, I get treated like it by the white people. They look at me the same. So I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying it's okay. I'm just saying that's how they did. Yo, 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 hold on, real quick, nigga. I hit my parlay, my six-leg parlay. That shit's crazy. And it's crazy, not on the football because Pat Mahomes was on some bullshit today. What the that fuck is going on? 
he listen. If I thought he had no receivers last year, this nigga got nobody this year. Nah, they, I they, mean, they gotta play, they gotta play young niggas are fucked. Nah, they, they gotta play Justin Ross, the Clemson kid. He's good, but they gotta trust. They gotta nah, trust nah, Miss Bitch, don't say that. He he's definitely a Latino, but he's just a white one. <laughs> The whitest of white. But Fatio down here, he, he would be Fatio like that. Like a, a, a Cuban. What you say? Huh? I mean, Fatio does speak Spanish, though. No, no. Yeah, his, yeah. His, his Spanish but it's is like, very, it's no, that no very trash poor. Spanish, though, nigga. It's very, his Spanish is very poor. So. Because you, you hear him say nigga more than you hear him say negrito. No, no, there, <laughs> there, there was a video. There was a video of him speaking Spanish. And I'm like, this is horrible Spanish. And then I sent it to my mom, who's fluent. I'm like, how's this Spanish? And she's like, this is really bad. Like, I'm like, oh, see, it's it's poor Spanish. Like, he don't really speak Spanish. I mean, uh, is it Jennifer Lopez bad? Because J Lo's a little J Lo's better. When she first yes. started out in the '90s, she was bad. Now she's uh she's she's good at it. You remember, she's, when, you remember when she said when she said nigga in the Ja Rule song and she got flat for it? Oh yeah, she got she absolutely did yo. And I hate to, because that's like, that's like one of the few Jennifer Lopez songs I was actually, that, I, that had a vibe to it. I used to be like, nice, but you know, I'm like, okay. What do you mean J-Lo can't speak Spanish? I remember when I was growing up, my mom had a whole DVD. No, she used to make me watch of this lady doing a whole concert in Spanish. No, Selena, so nigga. I said she it's Selena. <laughs> no, not Selena. It was actual no, concert. She was live no, no. in Mexico. I, I said, no, listen, I said she can speak Spanish. But like when she first started and she like tried to speak Spanish, it was like you could tell she was like It was struggle. It was struggle. She, you could tell she like it wasn't her native tongue. Now it's like years I later. Mean, what? She was she was like 18 living in New York, right? Like what the fuck was she supposed to talk like? I mean, your son was a damn. I mean, you could tell her yeah. that if you come out with Jenny from the block, I don't expect that bitch to speak no Spanish. <laughs> I mean, you got a point. I expect her to be one of them hood Spanish chicks. Like, nigga, hurry up. Nah, but even the hood ones speak Spanish. Like, y'all wanted Spanish. Jenny from the bodega. That's what it was. <laughs> Jenny from the block. <laughs> Yo, the funny thing is, there was a video like not like last year that came out where she went back to her old stomping grounds, which actually is not too far from me. I'm only like five minutes before she used to live. What they, like, they sold? They sold your boy to ass. The, no, she was like, oh, you know, I used to live here. And the guy was just like, yeah, okay. Like, he didn't even know who she was. He was just like, mm -hmm. oh, man, not mine is fucking business. You know, you don't give a shit. She came across, you know, her yeah. old stopping grounds like she was still hot shit. Like, nobody who, said, who, said big, who said Big Jenny ain't from the hood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this old man, he, this old man had some, like, he must have other shit to do because this, this fine ass J-Lo and it's like, and she she tell you I used to live here. I'm like, you still care? <laughs> like, what's good? <laughs> like, no game at all, nigga. Like, you like, come on, man. That nigga just like, yeah, all right, whatever, bitch. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like J Lo's come up to him every day, like or some shit. Like, like every day is like a different J Lo. Like, I used to live here. Like, I used to cook here. My, my cousin used to. He's like, yeah, whatever, bitch. Like, whatever. Like, yeah, get some shit. What, what you want? Like, like damn, like I'm, I'm. Just, let me see, like let me see if some shorty knock on my door on some like I used to live here. Like oh, right. <laughs> okay, um, oh shit, what you used to do here? <laughs> I mean, it was good, but yeah, that shit, that shit's crazy. I mean, it did, I mean, I was like, cause it seems like I mean, cause. I mean, well, J Lo, I, I oh, sir, she got flack for it, but like Fat Joe and Noy, I've never heard them for as long as I ever heard them ever, because you know, because usually well, no, Spanish no. speakers will call out other Spanish speakers for not speaking Spanish. So I always think I've never heard that for, for those two before in my life. So it's like, you know, they no, must. I mean, I mean, but who's gonna call them out? Like nobody cares. Yeah. I mean, that's that's I don't even really care like that with the nigga shit. It just. It's just something I'm just saying is like it's corny to me, yeah, but I'm not gonna be pressed about weird. it. Like it's kind of weird with Fat Joe saying. I mean, Nori's black, but I'm saying yeah, Fat Joe saying it's kind of. I mean, yeah, I, Nori's black. I don't have. I don't have a trouble. I mean, yeah, Nori's, nah. But Fat know, Joe, it's just can you begin to test? He be doubling down. Like, in New York, to be, well, what's the percentage? You say, would you say like more so the Afro dark Latinos would say? Uh, See, here's the, here's the funny thing. I don't even, like. I don't even care because I don't even like to use it anymore. Like. Mm -hmm. But like, I just find it funny because when it when whenever like subjects like these happen, especially like on the Kali, 
like it becomes a whole big thing of well who's really black and who's really not black yeah. and like <laughs> like there's no consistency so like there was a guy uh, on the collie i forgot his name but he's from boston and he was like see here we check puerto ricans and dominicans for saying it you could only say it if you're black he's like you know if you're a if you're a big poppy david ortiz type dominican yeah you could say it but if you're like a Manny Ramirez type Dominican, eh, I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, that's what? true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, though. No, that's no, true. I'm like, no, Manny's like, have you seen Manny Ramirez? But Manny's dark as fuck. Like, Manny's look, dark even, as fuck. look, look. Hold on, hold on. Manny's your complexion, nigga. Like, nigga, <laughs> even in Chicago, the Mexicans respect it enough to be like, yeah, we good on that word, nigga. But we'll Mexican call you Essay. Are, Mexicans. We'll call black. you Essay. We'll call you Essay. <laughs> But Mexicans aren't black. Like they're black. Neither are fucking Brazilians or Venezuelans. Nigga. Yes, no, or they are Ricans. black. No, they are black Venezuelans. They are black Brazilians. Nigga, just because you're, you're dark Mexicans and pigment don't mean you're black. What do you mean? Well, see, uh, what do you mean? Just because you're dark and pigment, then what the fuck are they? Nigga, <laughs> nigga okay, I've seen, nigga, I've seen convenience store workers, the Herka Durkas, nigga, and they be blacker than fucking. Wesley Snipes, you telling me they can call me a nigga? No, but those are dark skinned Indians. We would obviously know you by looking at them that they're not black. I'm saying like there are black Brazilians and black Venezuelans. So no, they could be black Brazilians, but there's no black. Of course, there's fucking black Mexicans, nigga. So I guess I guess if, in Chicago. I guess yeah. if niggas call them niggas in their country, they can call us niggas. No, I, they're, they're, I mean there are black Mexicans, but. They're, they're in Mexico. There aren't any black Mexicans here in the U.S. They're so disenfranchised, they can't even come here. Damn, like that. That was that was the most racist shit I ever heard you say, King Pete. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, it's, it's unfortunate, but, like, they can't even come here. That's how disenfranchised. He was like, he, he, Mexican, all types of Mexicans get over here. You telling me it, these niggas are so black, they can't get over here? What the fuck type of shit is that? <laughs> Them niggas should be blending in them tunnels easy as fuck. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yo, this is wrong. <laughs> yes, Miss Bitch, there are I ain't gonna lie, that's a bar though. That nigga yeah. he's spitting right now though. Yes, Miss Bitch, there are black Cubans too. Arizona. There's black are, everything like, though. Here. But like, so I, I, my back to my point. I was he's like, Yeah, so like, we know they're fucking black in their shadow work. God damn. He was I'm like, like he was like, oh, <laughs> you know, if you're a Manny Ramirez. Uh, if you're a Manny Ramirez type uh, Dominican, you might still get checked. So I, I, I me what? being the me no, so here me being the smart aleck I am, I I posted a picture of uh, Demetrius Andre, and I'm like, can he say it? He's like, yeah, no. Nah. He's like, yeah, he wouldn't get pushed back. I'm like, they have the same fucking look, same complexion, same fucking hair. Like, that's awesome, but one's Cape Verdean and one's Dominican. But if you're Cape Verdean, you're black. But if you're Dominican, you're not. Like, what the fuck is the sense in that? Dude, that's not- why with the whole nigga shit, it gotta be a case by case basis. Like, I tell people, like, yo, like, if, if, like, if you're, like, if, don't go around saying that shit around new niggas that you don't know you ain't comfortable with. Cause not everybody's cool with it. Like, right. Cause I know down here in Hollywood, they, they be on that shit. Like a lot of Spanish dudes say that shit, but then I don't really get that like that up when I when I'm being in Lauderdale. So it's like it depends on where you at and shit. But then like you know just you know don't be assuming everybody's cool with that shit. Like don't yeah, assume yeah. you're Fat Joe and you're in a room full of New York niggas and everybody's gonna pat you on the back and say yeah keep saying that shit yeah yeah. Like, <laughs> Nah, there's something is just gonna be like. I just, I think with Fat, I think with Fat Joe, one of the problems he's he's so arrogant about it, and he's so like. I remember on one of his albums, he was on the first on the first track on the album, he was like, "Who the fuck gonna tell me that I can't say nigger, 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 bitch ho?" I'm just like, what? Like seriously? You see, that's the whole corny part. Like, dude, like, come on, bro. Like, I had to listen to the Papu song dissing him just to get over that shit. Like, I'd be like, yo. What that nigga with Pat Post was snapping on this nigga like oh my god he was like mm-hmm. you you he said you you winded after walking up a flight of stairs he would just this nigga spit on this man for like seven and a half minutes like <laughs> talk, talk about you eat pork and call yourself God wrong cipher <laughs> I was like ah! <laughs> yo this nigga was like, in 
tell that nigga shut up. Like, he said, tell that nigga, yo, tell, he said, tell that nigga shut his mouth because my, my zipper is stuck. You would say, <laughs> but you, this nigga, I was like, ah, damn, Pap was like, ah, I don't know how niggas be cool after that song. Jeez, but like, fuck. Yeah, that, he was going off on Fat Joe. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Honestly, King P got it right with the whole. It's just the arrogance and, and the whole and, doubling down on it. I just want to point this out because, like, people, some people don't understand this. I, I feel like, and as a Latino, I can tell you that this is not true. I think the biggest, um, one of the biggest narratives that people put out there is that, like, oh well, you know, black Latinos and white Latinos, we're all the same. They're all one big, like one big happy family and you know like like because i be seeing that on twitter and i just be getting like why are y'all lying like like fucking white ass puerto ricans like oh you know there's no difference between white puerto ricans and puerto and black puerto ricans we're not like the u.s where it's like you know there's difference we're all puerto rican and we're like shut the fuck up why are you fucking lying because then y'all do the same thing <laughs> the fucking island y'all be y'all be uh taking black puerto ricans and taking their swag and then, like, fucking just white whiting, whiting it up, putting it on white faces. Like, then that's why the Daddy Yankee shit kind of pisses me off. They, they, they made him the face of reggaeton. And, you know, and, yeah, he's talented, but goddamn. They, all, all, the, all the black reggaeton artists get put to the wayside. Gotta love how that works. Well, yeah, wait, 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 what's all, real quick? I know we're wrapping up. So is Bad Bunny reggaeton? I, I'm so I'm just wondering. Is he, he has is, Latin trap? Okay, I guess. Okay. Latin trap. Oh my god! But, but, I mean, but, at least Daddy Yankee pays homage to uh, like. Sorry, no, at, least, no, at least Bad Bunny pays homage to like when Bad Bunny was uh, paying homage to Tego. I was like, okay, uh, I, I respect him for that because motherfuckers like wouldn't don't give him his props because he wasn't up there. And I think honestly. He wasn't as big as Daddy Yankees because he doesn't have the complexion. That's why I, I, I truly believe that. Don Omar and Daddy Yankee didn't get as big as Don because they didn't have the complexion. Mm. And then you got a fucking, there's that new guy. I don't know if y'all heard of him, Jay Balvin. It, it's, it's, because of, yeah. and it's because of Daddy Yankee. And, see, and this is the shit that I'm talking about. I'm sorry to get on this fucking rant. But no, like, go ahead, so, do your thing. But like, I remember, and this is how. This is actually the biggest example of how when people try to, when Latinos, especially the white ones, try to push off all, you know, white Latinos, black Latinos, we're all the same, yada, yada. It's bullshit because, first of all, that dude, uh, Jay Balvin, is a white Colombian and he's fucking racist. Uh, he had a video once of, of uh, in his music video, a black, a black woman putting them on a leash like dogs and shit like that. He's a fucking race, but yeah, anyway, he, I mean, I, 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 I've never, he looks like the fucking the, the Puerto Rican version of um, what's his name? Uh, but the, the white Iverson kid, and it okay. pissed me off. It pissed me. See, it, pissed, <laughs> it pissed me off when he did this. So there was an interview, and it was in Spanish, but I was able to like translate it and like make sure it was like what it was, and it was. So this motherfucker gave Daddy Yankee all the credit for his career. He legitimately said. I would not be doing reggaeton if it was not for Daddy Yankee because he is a white Latino. And he's like, reggaeton is for black people and for brown people. So I didn't know what Daddy Yankee looked like. I assumed that he looked like Tego Calderon, a.k.a. black. And he's like, when I saw him, I realized, oh, wait, he's white. He's a Latino like me. So if he can do reggaeton, then that means there's a future for me in reggaeton. I'm like, are you fucking kidding That's me? That's so fucking corny. And the fact that he said he's a, he's not, he doesn't look like Tego Calderon. He's a Latino like me. So you're basically saying that because Tego Calderon is a black Latino, that makes him less Latino than you because you're white. That makes you more. Get the fuck out of here. Like, fuck this guy. This is the shit I'm talking about. This shit pisses me the fuck off. Damn. And that's why I know. See, I knew I knew there was a, a reason why I could never vibe to no damn reggaeton in there. That's a lot of bullshit in there. Well, it wasn't the bullshit I was listening to. Was at at least, at least, at least, Daddy Yankee's half black because his father is black. It's just he don't look it. Fucking <laughs> that dude. That dude, Jay Balvin, is straight white and he's a fucking racist. Fuck him. I'm never listening to his music. Fuck him. Fuck Post Malone. Fuck that nigga. 
Oh, that's Post Malone. I don't fuck with Post Malone either. I know. I'm saying he looks like him, kind of. He, he favors Post Malone, that, that J Balvin guy. Yeah, fuck, 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 fuck the culture vultures too, and fuck that podcast bitch who interviews niggas at the podcast industry plant. Fuck her too. That boring <laughs> ass broad. Oh my god, that's a straight up industry plant. That, that dry comedy. She interviewing Shaq and all these all these niggas. Drake. Like, but where's the on. comedy? Like it's dry. It's, it's like and, oh and, and people trying to rap. Oh, she's she's funny. She's funny. I'm like she, no, she's, she's not. Funny. She's like a irritable bitch. Like she's not funny at all. Like, what, I, what, I see the clip where the dude was like, when she was getting at the dude for being old, and he was like, "You look like my uncle," and she was like, what? "She shut up." <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't think I've seen one video. I don't think I've seen one video from that girl. Lucky, well, consider yourself lucky. Yeah, yeah. Because the clips be all over Twitter. Like, jeez. So yeah, yeah Rob. Yeah, sh- shout out to Rob. What it do? Yeah, can't stand that bland ass chick, man. Thank yeah, you, bland as fuck. Thank you, big Rob. Yeah. And it's like y'all think it's getting interviewed by this broad in bed, like, dude, like, why the fuck would I want to lay next to her boring ass, like? Yeah, that's one. We not watching something like we talking like podcast plans is a whole. What the fuck is going on with the with podcast shit? plans? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh man, just have a fucking. Uh, oh wow, nah, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna say that on on, on live because that, that's too much. Giving too much creative shit away. We give niggas too much already. Like cause, like nah. Seriously, you'll just have to see the. You'll just have to see the uh, the next cartoon. Thanks. Speaking of the next cartoon, what's the next food y'all want? <laughs> yeah, as long as long as my food, I, I, honestly, my food arc should be off the table now. Like it's time for uh, there are other strange niggas here. Nah, no, that thick ass broccoli, like people fucks with that, nigga. I don't know. Nah, the the bro- ever ever we all know that broccoli has you know has a lot of vitamins and shit in you know in it, so it, it makes sense to have broccoli on pizza. So that shit is closed, nigga. Like, you uh, shut that shit out, nigga. Nigga, shut up, nigga. You go eat broccoli, my nigga. I mean, niggas, Anybody wants some great? <laughs> get some, yeah, get get some greens in your life, nigga. Broccoli is nutritious, nigga, and it tastes good. Especially on some cheesy, add some cheesy ass pizza. No, it you gotta put good. cheese on the vegetable. The vegetable ain't busting like that. Yeah, it tastes good next to some mashed potatoes and a steak, nigga. Stop. And some grapes. <laughs> yo, this nigga stupid, yo. <laughs> but not no damn. Yeah, I want some. Would you put? Would you eat? Think about it. Would you eat broccoli with some type of uh, uh, marinara sauce or some no. shit? No. Uh, what the fuck? fuck? Hell, well, you are if you putting that motherfucker on pizza. Not well. That's why I don't eat broccoli on pizza. Smart man. Well, you have cheese in the marinara. It ain't necessarily you, you, you're not eating just the broccoli in the marinara. That sounds weird. Still, nigga, it's shit. <laughs> broccoli and pizza don't mix like two dicks and no bitch. No eat. Yeah. What? 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 What, what Biggie say? Well, anyway, Biggie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, mean, I fucked it up. <laughs> No, you 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 got it. Oh, right. you said, you I said, got it right. Okay. Yeah. I eat pineapple on pizza, Miss Bitch. Yeah, that's what he said. Money and blood don't mix like two dicks and no bit. Have your ass serious shit. Yeah, <laughs> broccoli and pizza don't mix like two dicks. You know, yeah, pineapple and pizza take the serious shit. <laughs> Yo, you'll end up taking this. You'll end up taking the serious shit. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, you the. You putting fucking steak, onions, and broccoli on pizza, nigga? Fucking right. You gonna nigga. be fighting that toilet like it's a contra boss, nigga? Like, the nigga, fuck that's out just, of here. nigga, that's just delicious. Especially if you put the oregano and the hot pepper and the garlic on that. Yo, Rob D, log off. What the fuck are you talking about? Brussels sprouts, I know, not popular, but fire. Oh, pizza? cauliflower too. All right, Brussels sprouts are not. Brussels sprouts and fire don't belong in the same. Food. No, Brussels sprouts are saying. good. Brussels sprouts are good. And avocado and pizza? pizza? Ew, what the? I don't know fucking pizza. pizza. How about, how about, how about, never let some niggas order the pizza. How about asparagus on pizza? How would that be? No. Oh my God. I mean, broccoli is the top topic conversation. Give me one second. But y'all saying shit worse than broccoli, like. At least Pat was like, okay, broccoli, but yeah, get a little steak, onions. What the fuck are you pairing up asparagus with? <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, w- I want Brussels sprouts on my fucking pizza. What the fuck are you putting on? Like, really? Like, 
Yeah. I'm on that hell shit. I mean, we all hell. I mean, niggas get it in, but I'm saying, damn, carrot pizza? Oh, get the fuck out of here. You know, I haven't had carrot cake in like five years, man. Ugh. I hate carrot cake. Ugh. You don't like carrot cake? Hell really? No. I don't I don't fuck with carrots, so. Oh wow. What the fuck? You don't like carrots? Nope. How the fuck you don't like carrots? Like carrots. This nigga, like hold on. This nigga was just bitch slapping broccoli and he going off on niggas about carrots. Like nigga, stop. No, I don't I don't I don't fuck no, with like, what is wrong with carrots? Like, carrots no, is good I, for your eyesight. Like, I, 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 like, I like broccoli. Fuck that. No, no, I don't really like carrots. Carrots are trash. I take them shits off my salad, nigga. Well, what the fuck? fuck? fuck, fuck what if you <laughs> think it's wild? Like, <laughs> like what is it? Like, when have you ever been to a restaurant and been like, "Oh, can I get rice and carrots?" Nigga, never. <laughs> carrots is something that just carrots ain't like a. a when have you ever went like to any restaurant? restaurant? Like, they'll give me like yeah. if I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. They'll give me fucking carrots and fucking celery on the side, and I just won't eat the yeah, carrots. Yeah, you leave the Wait, 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 wait. They give you carrots with the celery? I've never heard of carrots with the celery. That's some New carrots York shit. Celery with the, yeah, with the dressing. I'm like... Gotta be some it, New York shit. Niggas give yeah. you celery, but carrots? What, they what, give are you they giving you baby horses? carrots or whole carrots? Look, there's the smaller <laughs> carrots. <laughs> oh my... That's a Buzz Bunny shit, motherfucker. Hey, yo, that was crazy. Yo. No. <laughs> you know, old ass carrot. <laughs> <laughs> that was nuts. I open up. You open up your container for wings and you see a motherfucking big ass carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think y'all made a mistake. No, hey, no, nah, nah, we get those out. Oh, y'all want a pickle too? No, motherfucker. <laughs> Buzz, I mean, shit, you're not yeah. simple. <laughs> yeah, pause, pause. Ah, damn, y'all motherfuckers ruin everything, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Oh, oh, niggas out here selling good vegetables, man. This is horrible. Nah, man. I like vegetables. It's just certain vegetables or fruit I don't like. I, I, I don't like um. Nigga, spinach and Brussels sprouts for the win. C- uh, uh, what's that shit? Uh, cassava melon? No, wait, wait. Cantaloupe. I fuck with I hate spinach. Cantaloupe. I fuck with spinach. Spinach. I hate cantaloupe. Ugh. I love spinach. Spinach, spinach is essential. Spinach is fire. Spinach is, spinach is God's vegetable, nigga. Yeah, you can put I spinach on pizza. pizza. Yeah, spinach go on pizza, of course. <laughs> so you, you can't fuck with olives, nigga. What's wrong with you? Ugh. Yeah, olive, olives are trash. Olives are fire, nigga. What the fuck? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how some some heathens they go and they buy a jar of olives, throw that shit in the refrigerator, and eat that shit with a fork. Like y'all niggas need to be in jail. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. No, no. Olives is fire on subs and pizza. I'm not just going and say, you know what? Fuck, I can eat some olives and they like. Oh, they I hate olives, olives with the welts and snacks. I pick all my olives out, nigga. Fuck that. Oh, only hoes be picking out their food and shit. Like, what the fuck kind of shit at that? Real nigga just be like, all right. Yeah, I'm no. Open. Only whores go to the fucking cashier and be like, I don't want olives. I don't want carrots. I don't want broccoli. Yeah, that's nigga. whole shit too. I hate yeah. carrots. If I'm ordering, just bring me the plate. I'll take out what I don't want to eat, nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can see if it's picking out one thing. Yeah. You, going, you, give me the you plate, fucking don't picking me. out olives, onions, uh, tomatoes. Just, like, god damn, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, order an ultimate sub and make that shit a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh shit! I mean, if you go, if you, yeah, because it both look bad, but I rather that nigga just be like, hey, there's no olives, but yeah, yeah. I think I order an ultimate sub, <laughs> he get everything, and then he's like, turn that shit into a regular ham sandwich, <laughs> and, and it's a fucking a side salad sitting to the side of it because he done took everything out, like yeah. The ones that get me, the motherfuckers, you be like, can you cut it four times, like dude. Cutting a sub, a foot long sub, four times, five times, six, like get the fuck. If you don't go, here. if you don't go home and try to cut off your own fucking finger, <laughs> holding up the line because you're trying to feed down twelve babies' kids with one fucking public sub. Gonna <laughs> get them niggas some pizza rolls and some ground beef or some shit, a hamburger, help them niggas. Pizza roll the ground beef. What the fuck, <laughs> nigga? You, I said hamburger helper, like. The pizza rolls a little snack, hamburger helper the meal, nigga. Like, the fuck I'm out of here gonna damn buy a sub and cut it four times and everybody gets this little bit of sub and you supposed to be like, hmm, damn, all right, you know, busting. I'm full, I'm good. I'm I ain't gonna run this off in 30 minutes. 
I ain't gonna lie, my mom used to do that, and that little piece of sub would be good as fuck, nigga. I'll be like, damn. But it, it, it I, don't fill you up, though. I can't wait to get a full sandwich when I get older. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how you look at that shit. Like, like, like you look at it like, yeah, one day I'll be big. I'll, I'll be grown. I'll, I'll get a full sub, and I'm gonna be like, y'all want this on it, that. And I always look at the little, little more maze, and I be wanting to put that on there, but mom do still want to put that shit on there. I'm gonna put that motherfucker on there like yeah. Quick to Rob, I, I used to deliver pizza back in the day. Cheeseburger pizza is on point when it's done right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Cheeseburger not with no pick, not with no pickles on that no, motherfucker. Yeah, hell, fuck, fuck no pickles. No, pickles yeah, pickles, beseta. No, no, no need pickles. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Who fucking putting pickles on a pizza? I don't care if it's a cheeseburger pizza. Just that's one thing. Like, oh my god, like motherfucker <laughs> gonna put mayonnaise in? That's like a pet add on. Can I get pickles on that shit too? Hell Let me no. shut up. Let this like that. Nigga, shut that up. nigga said it like it was DLC content too. Man. You got that pat pizza pack? Hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, man. You, you, yeah, it's a real, it's a real long download. Like that should be like taking two hours, but it's worth it. Yeah, baby. Like, if you get the green controller, they sell at Best Buy. You really be stunting on niggas. <laughs> Nigga, whatever, yo. My pizzas be real as fuck, yo. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm out, man. Cheeseburger pizza, I'm out. No more. Damn, nigga. Man. Shutterworth, order pizza for everybody after you rich and successful, white man. <laughs> what the fuck? You- <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this nigga tell me. <laughs> you after you rich and successful, white man. Like, why I gotta be white to be rich and successful? God damn. Like... <laughs> Shut up, we hungry. Buy everybody pizza. Nah, nah, nah. Let, let that white motherfucker you want to buy pizza. <laughs> let them buy pizza. Shit. Yeah, get that first you roll pizza over there. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> Do they still have that rule when they when they late the pizza becomes free? I I don't know. That's some places, nigga. This ain't um, a, a yeah, movie. no. I mean, I uh, you know, like again, like when I used to work deliver pizza, like. If there was an issue with it or something like that, then we would put a credit. You know, it's local spots. They, 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 Wait, what type of Spider-Man one shit is that? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm saying so if, they call back, if they call back again, you know, if they have an account or profile, you'd be able to like, you know, oh, oh there's 50 bucks on this. Okay, we got you. <laughs> so what kind of Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. Hell no. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Jameson, like, your yeah, Mr. Jameson, hell no. <laughs> oh, shit. Green pepper pizza, every veggie, but, nigga, I want to try a gyro pizza. This one place got them, but it's like, damn. You got lamb yeah. meat and all types of other shit. I'm like, okay, you want to yeah, try gyros are, pizza. Yeah, gyros are coming around my area, so I have no, I, I have, <clears throat> I, I don't want to try a gyro pizza. Like, it's like. It'll probably taste how exactly how I think it's gonna taste. I'm so like, you want to eat good. lamb? You want to try lamb on a pizza? Of course, not in gyro, but yeah, lamb is lamb is blazing. Of course. Well, okay, so it, it just lamb on a pizza, like with other shit, like hell yeah, nigga. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Lamb, lamb, lamb is God's meat, nigga. It's tender, nigga. Of course I would. Pause. Pause. No, wait a minute. What am I saying? Pause for? Hold up. You talking about guys meat all tender and shit, nigga? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, chill. Like, right, you, you giving me like Spartacus symbolism. I don't want Zeus's cock to go through the, the part the clouds and shit. Nigga, nah. <laughs> you right, you right, you right, you right. Nigga. That was crazy. That, that, that was crazy, though, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Lord. It's, it's tender, like. This thing is about to go off. You about to say, it's juicy. You cook that motherfucker right. <laughs> nigga, I mean, nigga, I, I didn't, I didn't bless eat, him. I mean, nigga, I didn't eat much before we got into this cast, nigga. So that's probably my stomach telling me, like, nigga, it's time to eat, nigga. So it's like, that's oh, probably okay. the reason why, nigga. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so we definitely gonna um do more food cartoons. I just did a rough draft. I did multiple voices, prolific, put it together. I'm gonna try to hit up some people for get some guest appearance voices, you know, because not all fruit is going, not all vegetables and food is gonna be niggas, you know, you know, rain gang, we a family, so you know, extended family, so exactly, get get some shit popping off, going gonna um, just get some jokes flying with the food, you know what I mean, 
Just like, like we just years. had right now for like, yeah, you know, we went hard with these jokes today. Yo. Yeah, you gonna have the spoon talking and all that shit, and uh, <laughs> we we ain't done with the other shit we was doing. It just we gotta reformat that. We gotta we gotta finish it up. Um, we got time because the Spence Crawford fight to be here in no time the rematch. Yeah, like yeah. we so so that's all. But you know we just want to do some fun shit shit that doesn't take that long to animate shit that we can just put out. Whereas you know the other shit, motherfucker got to draw seventeen pictures to see a nigga do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but it'd be dope though. It'd be fire. So you know, we just got blow up with the little funny shit first, get y'all attention. Then niggas, as soon as niggas be like, damn, so I wonder what they could do if they serious. So, oh, okay, yeah, watch the old shit, motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Motherfucker, want an old shit? Buy the old, listen to our old podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo. Yo, no, the ring gang niggas, they too sadiddy. They too bougie. They on some other shit now. Like, nigga, you want the ring? You want old ring gang? Listen to the old shit. Nigga, got like, like over a thousand episodes. You could not get bored. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, and, and some of that, some of that old shit is, you know, is classic. So it's like, yeah, classic. Like I, I actually like the Usyk episode. I had to, re- I had to listen to that. That shit was hilarious. Like I get it now. I was disgusted. Um, but but there's a lot of old episodes that are straight gems. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, the catalog is yeah. A, a lot, a lot of predicted the future. We did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot, a lot of shit. Like niggas transcenders. Like ain't nobody ring gang the first niggas to drop mixtape as a podcast, sports talk show. First nigga get their own cartoons, like anime, like nigga, like mm-hmm. fuck out of here. We the best. We the greatest ring yeah, gang yeah, forever. Bro, m- m- music we'll, we'll, we'll do we're we'll gonna do some music one for sure pretty soon. Yes, yeah. yo, the shout out to this nigga King P because he had um he retweeted uh I think a zero song and as soon as I seen it I was like I had to comment I was like yo nigga we we gotta do another music show like you, yeah, honestly, we're gonna suit for next week. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's just me. I'm having technical difficulties at the crib as far as like my setup, so I haven't been able to make a lot of graphics and shit recently. So that's kind of been slowing shit up on my end. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can speak to one of the other graphic artist niggas in Ring Gang. Mm-hmm. See if we can hook up some shit and um start doing the uh music uh the episodes again um. De- definitely, because it was they, those those were fire. I mean, we gonna switch it up, the R and B, the other shit groups. But yeah, we gotta bring that back. So yeah, we like, apologize for the delay. The music, the music is you. you really hear the magic of Ring Gang because you know this shit's uh, yeah because yeah we because we be going in like I said boxing for the most part we our views are similar but music uh, yeah you, you get a whole smorgasbord of uh, opinions and shit yeah. Especially from my old ass to Rome's, you know, you know, Ro- Rome's. Yeah, the age range is kind of, it's kind of like, it's kind of like from, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good balance, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's- so I would love to do like old R and B, like some old school shit, but then y'all might be on some like, if this old motherfucker don't get out of here with this goddamn Phyllis Hyman, Anita Baker. <laughs> they have Stephanie Mills shit like I'm saying uh, I, 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 I want yeah I want to hear these singers talk about their butts big and their booty holes brown what the fuck is this all this love shit what what the fuck is a rap that's shit, what man? I'm saying that's why I listen to art I listen to old because I gotta hear that love that passion that soul like the authentic I care for someone type of music like if niggas is singing I can't hear this damn this ooops to bop like girl I'll I'll lick your pussy juices and. Kiss your mom on her cheek and be some freaks. Like, nah, I can't listen to that bullshit, man. It ain't. If it's you see me, you're trying to see what's up. <laughs> like that sing rapping shit, oh, like, man, like, nah, that shit's trash, yo. Ski. <laughs> oh man, that goddamn football team. Oh lord, like, yeah, yeah. niggas is doomed. I don't know. I like how FAU came out to Kodak. That shit was hard. I don't know if y'all seen that. FAU came out, Kodak, with the Broward shit. That shit was wrong. Well, I know I didn't see that shit. <laughs> I mean, that's Kodak, man. Shit, I'm, I'm put on for Kodak, but not no damn ski ski and niggas twerking and <laughs> doing all types of foolishness. Like, ski yeah. ski, yeah, no. ski ski. And, like, damn, that, oh, God. That, every time, it's like, if I ever hear that song or that word, like, that football, that locker video, it just, it just automatically like God. 
Yes, and then also too, I gotta mention that you know the fucking Jets. You know, like them niggas was really out there. There's videos and they were talking about they was really vibing. He's like, what? Why you turn that shit off? Put that shit back on. I Bro, seen that shit. That was horrible. Doing that bull, like listen to that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? They got the Eagles though. They had no, you know, they had some real nigga music in their locker rooms, man. And then you know, one of them was a Q dog. Shout out to Malcolm Jenkins. Nigga, the Eagles is gonna have a terrible season. See you Sunday. Nigga, See you fuck- Sunday. See you Sunday, bitch ass nigga. Nigga, who the fuck are you facing Sunday, nigga? The fuck is you talking about, my we nigga? Play, we, play the, we play the weak ass Packers with weak ass Jordan. Nigga, Lola, yeah, nigga. nigga you getting packed up, nigga. The Bears is getting packed up, nigga. What the nigga, fuck the on, Packers, nigga. the Packers ain't got nobody. I'm not worried. Fuck the Bears ain't shit, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? Y- y'all, y'all niggas is getting packed up, nigga. Nigga, see me week four. See me week four, nigga. Fuck you, mean. See week four, nigga. See you now, see nigga. Week four. nigga. The nigga, the, the, nigga, the Chiefs already lost. So you think the fucking the Philadelphia finna repeat? No, it's a wrap for y'all niggas. Nigga, that's the yeah, Chiefs. Nigga. Where you from? You on this eagle dig? What the fuck? If the Super Bowl team just lost, what the fuck you think the Eagles finna do? Mm. Nigga, when the Super when, when the Eagles um, after they won the Super Bowl, they won their first game, nigga. So I ain't fucking. That's cheap. The niggas. Is- when in two thousand six, nigga, stop. Nigga, it's doing like 2018. Hold on, now y'all not gonna have this conversation over. We, I remember this whole conversation after the podcast. Yeah, like, I don't know, this nigga, this nigga like yeah, nigga, y'all niggas went on for like thirty minutes about football and and yeah. statistics and how many times the Eagles lost in a decade type shit. Like, yeah, nigga, <laughs> week, my week four, the Bears will be out, will be out of playoff contention, nigga. <laughs> that's God, crazy. Damn, like that was the most football I heard from these niggas in like, oh my god, that should have been content. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and definitely, you know, we you know after week one, we know we'll definitely, you know, we'll definitely have a football podcast show. You know, you know, us niggas because you know, uh, you know, because we'll have some last shit to talk about for sure. Cause you know, cause you know, football is back and football is crazy. You know what I mean? Like real nigga shit. Like these know. niggas can't help themselves. They gotta talk about fucking football. Like we can't, you know, cause, cause football is real nigga shit, bro. Like you know, this this is one of LB's few very shortcomings. Yeah. Public shortcomings. This, this, this is the part of the season where the cookies start coming out the oven a little bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck both you tall ass <laughs> niggas, man. Oh my god, like y'all niggas, like, you know, like, y'all fool, like I need my nachos on Sunday, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> see, like, ah, oh, nah, see this motherfucker. He really like if you knock him out doing Sunday talking about some fucking. Hey, you think you're gonna bust out some nachos, bro? Like, I mean, <laughs> this game about to come on. I, I mean, mean, hey, he, you he, be looking he, up Taco Tuesday, nigga. I be he, smelling the kitchen, like, I need everything cooked by one o'clock, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, y'all niggas they'll be calling me like no red bitch or nothing. Nah, I don't like that. Nah, y'all like y'all gonna have a m- apron and shit for me and shit. Nah, nah. Hey, nah, nigga, all you gotta do is pick a team and get in our and get in our football conversations where we start going off on shit, nigga. I, I can't. You, you can, nigga. You gotta apply. I don't understand. Nigga. Shit ain't is boring, man. Like, it's not, not nigga. It's chess, nigga. Like, well, pick a, pick a team we can talk shit about. Like, pick a team like the Bengals. I'm from like, Florida. Y'all got that. three teams y'all can shit on. Like, no, the Florida teams are good. Dolphins are good now. Dolphins been good. Uh, huh? We can't joke about the Lions. The Lions just beat the champs. Nah, Florida, nigga. Florida, nigga. Florida. Yeah, team. I'm like, where the fuck you get the Lions from? Florida teams, nigga. We talk about Florida. Yeah, Jackson, Jacksonville, Jacksonville is nice. Tampa Bay is probably the worst one right now. Yeah, the Bucks can be yeah. trash this year. The Bucks will be trash this year. Oh, okay. The Bucks I mean, they got Baker Mayfield. He could do some magic. No, he nah, can't. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that don't even sound. That don't even sound like a raw sports name. Baker Mayfield. What the fuck? Oh no, nah, you don't know shit about football. <laughs> 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 I don't think because you know, you got like certain boxer names and like okay that name sound raw like this nigga he the truth like you know what I mean like uh, Baker Dawson, like okay Baker Mayfield is not the truth nigga that nigga is Johnny Manziel but taller yeah in fact he's Baker Gayfield isn't that good but that's what I'm, y'all but I'm saying Baker Mayfield don't even sound like a raw like n- football nigga name like. He's a quarterback. They don't have raw names. He won the Heisman. Nah, he won the college. You know, the, the college MVP basically. He had a good, good great year, but he's. But who names a kid fucking Baker? Like, goddamn, that shit ain't white weird. people. <laughs> that that shit sounds like a dog Girl, name. Is so like normalized by this shit. Like Baker's a dog name. 
<laughs> now, what Baker's dog is named Baker Nick and Cheese? Now, Baker is a profession, my nigga. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Cobbler Mayfield. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, hold on, uh, Cobbler <laughs> Fish Stream. Like, y'all just naming shit. Like, y'all just... F- Fisherman Mayfield. Hell no. <laughs> Well, I mean, at least it's biblical. I'm sure sure Baker's in the Bible. I'm Cooker biblical. Water Fairy. Like. Yeah, <laughs> oh, shit, yo. But, yo, let's get ready back. Yeah, yeah. I, need, I, need, I, need, I need this food in my life, yo. Um, Hold on. What you was going to eat, though? So we so we can shit on that real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You shouldn't have said that. Like, now I have to ask you. This is shit I'm talking about by extending the podcast by accident. Just so, Nigga, so I, I have I have leftover I have stir fry with lobster in it I have mac and cheese with lobster in it I have jollof rice and I have some steak. Hold on, does the jollof rice have lobster in it? No, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm supposed to know. I'm trying to be educated. Yeah, and shit. Nigga put Look, lobster you name everything in lobster. This nigga said I got brownies with lobsters. I got fish <laughs> with lobsters. I got I got ramen lobster, nigga. I got, I got lobster got- pizza. Then he oh, got Joe Law Rice. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said Joe Law Rice, like, like you just, you got Italian to fit up the whole table into the corner and just a pot of Joe Law. Yeah, and, yeah. and all and that shit's gonna shit is, shit is banging too, bro. I'm gonna pick one of them. That one's gonna have ass to bed. Hold on, so so hold on, so you're not gonna eat a little bit of the le- of each leftover? You just gonna choose one of the four? Yeah, yeah nigga, all that lobster, that shit gonna stink, nigga. You better not eat that shit right now. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I, I don't got no woman over. The bro. In the morning, nigga. I don't got no woman over, so I'm waking up by myself, nigga. I don't got no woman over, so that's good. If like, if I want, like, yeah, like, but just just heating that shit up smells like shit, nigga. Lobster don't smell that bad. Yeah, Damn, no, lobster don't smell that bad. Nah, I mean, I've, no, it ain't like that nigga was about to warm up curry lobster. Not even like. Maybe Joe Loft, nigga. Now there's, there's some other lobster. There's, there's some other fish you put in the microwave. You say I'm not trying that. Now lobster's cool. Like lobster, it would put in the microwave, it won't smell at all. Like it's, it's so it, we, I'm good on that. So it's all good. You know, hey yo, yeah. Pat. Um, I was about to watch rewatch rewatch Blind Fury, mm-hmm. but then I came across the professional and I rewatched that instead. So my bad. But yeah, that, that movie aged great. It's still a classic. Yeah, beautiful movie. Yeah. Now I'd say I want to put down my cue, but I got a lot of other movies. I I, mean, I just first randomly watching the Last Voyage of Demeter, which was actually a pretty decent vampire movie. I've been wanting to see that. Okay, goddamn, real quick, is it, is it worth it? Like one through ten, something. Then we jump off this bitch. I would give it an eight. I would actually fuck with it. Motherfucker, you serious? I I have to watch it then. An yeah. eight? Yeah, it was an eight. Like you know. It, it had, it had it had some minor fluster, but I but in terms of but I enjoyed it. Like you know, she was she was good, good horror film, good creature, good pacing. Yeah, yeah. So and I tomorrow, enjoy it. Yeah, to, and tomorrow, because uh, I have I have a date tomorrow. I think uh, I'm gonna I'm seeing the nun too, just to see what that. Yeah, he don't even know if he's gonna pick the bitch up or not. That's crazy. I know. Damn. <laughs> he like she respond. Oh well, nigga. <laughs> like a movie is being watched, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, shit, though. Like, that's, that's hard. He's like, I'm gonna see the nun tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be at a date or not, but <laughs> if you wanna come, you can pause or not. Hey, what I do, do you... No, nah, that's real, nigga. Shit, that's really how you have to look at shit. Yeah, so like, but I mean, either way, the nun's gonna be seen. Depending on just, it depends. Uh, in you know, yeah. it's gonna be a situation where I'll be by myself, or someone will be clutching my arm, talking about e. You know, <laughs> I don't even know what that movie is, but if, if you yeah, watch but... it, it gotta be decent. So, all right, good. But yo, uh, let's get. Yeah, let's we get good. Out of here. My bad, son. We good. <laughs> about AOP, got any final thoughts, bro? No final thoughts. Wrap it up. <laughs> this nigga impatient. Then they must. He must have took a fantasy football loss. <laughs> <laughs> It just started. No, no lost yet. I, I, yeah, I got, I got my homes. He got me twenty six still, so I'm straight. Where, where, where? Hey, Rome, you got any other final thoughts, nigga? Yeah, blue, blue face, nigga. You fucked up, nigga. You gave Krishan Cloud. Now she surpassed you, nigga. Now you got to take the back seat. Stay in the background, nigga. Should have <laughs> kept, should have kept, should have kept making music, nigga. Now you fucked. <laughs> Now, 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 niggas, n- nigga will be a love and hip hop staple now. <laughs> that nigga, 
the post complaining about his jit having an IG is just hilarious. Because <laughs> the jit, the... jit watched my IG story at one day old. <laughs> yeah, didn't even follow me. This shit's crazy. <laughs> No, that's a whole bunch of L's that niggas been taking, bro. Hilarious. It didn't the whole getting stabbed with at the boxing gym. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. He's like a young flavor flav. <laughs> nah. I mean, even flavor flav didn't, even flavor flav didn't move that type of with a flavor flav's fuckery came after his prime. Yeah. Well, most of it came after his prime. Most I'll of just it. Say that. Yeah, I say that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah that's, that's my final thought. Fuck, nigga, you fucked up. Hey, yo, LB, your final thoughts, bro? Oh, no, nah, I'm good, man. You answered my questions. <laughs> great, great show. More shit on the way. The stay tuned, nigga. We popping, bro. Pause. Yeah. There we go. Hey, yo, Pilot, your final thought? Oh, it's Nick. Shouts oh. out to boxing. You know what it is. That's all I got. Oh, Let's eat his spoon. Shout outs. Yo, n- nigga, oh. nigga was shooby doo whopping that shit, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, geez. <laughs> he was hesitating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, y'all some funny motherfuckers today. Damn. Yo, and then, yeah, I mean, I don't have much to say, you know, like I say, as I always say, you know, we're everywhere. Especially check out our website and our YouTube, you know, listen, like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends to do the same. And we can all be friends, and you see, then you know you see that banner on the. But it's been scrolling for the last two hours, nigga. You know you see that shit. It says PayPal. Yeah, we trying to buy pizza, nigga, or, or some headphones because y'all niggas is tripping on dollar headphones. Exactly, Miss Bitch, yo, you be you be talking, so you know I'm gonna need you to hit hit, hit up the PayPal. Yeah. So you, wanna, you you be you be you be going at Shutterworth too much, you know, not to not to not to donate yeah. to your ring game. Show some game. love, so so I can take an Uber to get some fucking uh, raisin canin. Case canes or whatever. Raisin canes, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. Yo, Rome, have, have you ever had raisin canes yet, nigga? No, nah, them chicken fingers? No, nah, that shit looks trash. I would never order it. I'll never waste money on no chicken fingers, nigga. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, so I guess I guess that's my food mission, to actually go to the one that's actually about 14 miles away. Yeah, yeah, you, want some, you want some Harold and Kumar shit. <laughs> oh no, him and King P. Both these niggas. Yeah, you know. It, yeah, P. P. Go to the Times Square when I go to the one that's in like. Yeah, Marvel. make 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 sure you vlog this mission, nigga, so we can get some content out of this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and I swear, yo, I swear, this, I, I I I only hope that Razor King doesn't make my stomach, you know, fucking, you know, go. Yeah, nigga driving fifteen miles for a tummy ache. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all niggas is like this is like we should all time great with the podcast today. Like y'all niggas like yo, just you would have to abruptly just cause y'all niggas keep throwing haymakers like mm. like damn like I, I gotta watch power or the shy. I gotta watch some fuckery after this. Like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, no, but that's that, that's my final thoughts, man. And, you know, me. and you know, like I said, you know, football episode, you know, probably you know we'll try sneaking in like sometime next week after week one's over, cause you know, niggas got niggas gotta get talk their football shit and you know all the interjections that we do, it just ain't enough. We know we gotta, you know, we gotta talk our shit. You know what I mean? Because uh, and I gotta talk shit. appetizers and and, and, and game mm. day meals and the meal planning for for uh, fuck aprons. The aprons that say "kiss the cook" for this nigga. Nah, man. nah, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> talk about I gotta discuss meal plans before a tip off. Kick Hell off, yeah, kick nigga. Off. Nah, fuck y'all. <laughs> Yeah, ser- serving beer, nigga. Make sure you got that bottle opener too, nigga. What the fuck is, the fuck is going on? Yeah, y'all, y'all some football, nigga. Y'all, y'all some Shrek looking motherfucker. Go like this, I and, and, <laughs> <laughs> you your teeth, nigga. Like nah, <laughs> y'all six four. Nah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm short and light skinned. We delicate. We delicate. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be doing no shit like that, nigga. Nah. Hey, you wonder why I keep sending you them damn videos in your inbox, nigga? Like, <laughs> ah, you ain't killing me with those shit. I'll be like, yo, oh, damn. Dude. If this nigga Pat ever come to Florida, like we gonna have to throw hands because this nigga think like light skinned niggas is bitches or some shit. <laughs> God, like, yeah, shout out, shout out to that IG channel. That shit have me fucking rolling every single time I watch that nigga's videos. I be fucking dying because that nigga's uh, because he, he he be killing the dark skin light skin shit and the light he be having the light skin niggas look ultra ultra sus. <laughs> Doing all types of wild <laughs> shit, especially the especially the the. Fucking like the boxing one, and then the niggas that just you know just you know 
slapping each other and shit like that, yo. Them shits be fucking having me hollering. Especially at like four o'clock in the morning when I be waking up abruptly, nigga. Like that shit be shit is hilarious. Yo, Get out of here with your damn. And that's a Florida nigga too that actually does this too. So your Jolo dream, be- your Jolo nightmares, nigga. You waking up and screaming at light skinned niggas for making you laugh. And, ah, nigga, <laughs> you're in this fucking podcast, damn. Yo, yo, you, so, you, yeah. if this shit go any longer, you you fucking try Keith Thurman or some shit. You'll just keep going, nah, nigga. <laughs> word, word, let word. us go end this shit. We, yeah, so King P myself, gotta go, nigga. Yo, yeah, so for myself, Pasco here, the Penguin representative for LB Shuttle with the God, the Goat artist for King P Bodega P for Conscious Pilot and for Rome Top Five. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, <laughs> please. Yeah, duh. Yo, some ring gang niggas hit me with a brick. Oh my god, <laughs> y'all boxing niggas ain't shit. <laughs>